Ciotti, everybody calls me Ciotti. You can call me whatever you'd like. Tonight, it's Workbench Wednesday. We're gonna finish up the base plate swap on the uh, Basher Glide. We're going to investigate why the camera shut off a couple of times on the cinematic rig. And if we have time, we're gonna finish up the uh, fireworks edit, which uh, some of you may have seen Two days ago? Monday. Monday night. And you patrons got to hear the inside scoop on the story behind that and all the good stuff and the sketchiness and the weirdness. Um, if you would like to, uh, on a on a private Patreon-only stream that I did after the uh, Monday night stream. Um, so yeah, that was super fun. That was great to hang out with, uh, with the patrons a little bit afterwards for another almost hour or so. Um... Those of you that follow my Instagram would have, will have seen a ton of packages on the way to you guys um, in the new packaging that I've got, which is pretty cool. Let me know how you like it. Um, yeah, most of the giveaways are now caught up on, and um, there's no end. 
This is my full-time job. If you'd like to support me so that I can keep on doing this and bring you guys good content, uh, all you got to do is head on over to CiatiFPV.com. I'm never ready. I always have to type it in as soon as I start the shill spiel. There it is. That's what it looks like. Patreon is what helps me the most. Lots of benefits. Audio versions of all these live streams so that you can just listen to them as podcasts. Um, I post up when there's really good deals and clearance sections on actual useful stuff rather than just garbage. Um, articles on pit tuning, filter tuning, all kinds of other good technical stuff going on in there. Notifications via email, Discord, and Facebook. Oh my god. And Facebook when I stream. Um, I do more than just these uh, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. So the pa And the patrons know that. They get uh, secret streams here and there. And uh, lots of other really good stuff. So yeah, jump onto the Patreon. Um, it's, it's taken a little bit of a downturn in the last month, uh, which is kind of scary. Uh, because I, I took a little bit of a gamble in April, giving away thousands and thousands of dollars in builds. Um, and parts and, and other stuff and in hopes that it would kick the Patreon up to the point where it would eventually kind of even out. Um, but I'm getting a little worried that, that I might have been a little too ambitious uh, with that. Uh, so yeah, if you've got a couple extra dollars a month to spare and you want to support your buddy Ciotti, please do jump on over to the Patreon and join up. It'll cost you as little as three bucks a month. It makes a huge difference. Um, Ten cents a day. Can you find a dime on the grid? Can you start walking around? Like, when you're walking to work, as if you walk to work, just, like, walk to work like this. Just scanning for dimes on the ground. Uh, YouTube and Instagram, of course. Uh, over on Etsy, I've got some really cool stickers and some hardware. Over on Fiverr, I'm doing flight coaching, flight instruction. Uh, I'm going to help you guys tune. And I'm going to help you build your rigs better with the right parts so that you don't waste lots of money. Uh, like I did. Uh, over on Teespring, we've got some really cool t-shirts and sweatshirts and mugs and all kinds of fun stuff. If you're not on FPV Exchange, you've lost your mind. This is my little store on FPV Exchange. Let me show you a couple of those things now. Here's the Etsy store with a whole bunch of stickers and a bunch of random hardware. Here is uh, the different. Here are the different things that I offer over on Fiverr. You don't have to go through Fiverr for this stuff. I would actually kind of prefer you guys not go through Fiverr. But if you just want to like look at the descriptions and and it'll kind of give you an idea of what I do in these. And then you can just message me, um, and we'll book it and schedule it. And you can just use the PayPal link on the bottom of my uh, of my website there or my link tree, I should say. Um, this is the uh, Teespring store. All of the t-shirts are a little bit expensive because I chose the more premium uh, shirts. Um, because, you know, who doesn't like a premium shirt? You can get you some Clam Man, you can get some Collective, whatever you'd like. Look at all this good stuff. The NASA ripoff one, all kinds of fun stuff going on over here. Uh, and then here's my little store on FPV Exchange, which is pulling in a bunch of the stickers from Etsy. Uh, a bunch of things that I'm actually I'm not selling these motors anymore. So how do I? Oh, I'm not even logged in. That's okay. This is what FPV Exchange looks like. It uh, it grabs an item and it shows you every different website that sells that item so that you can price shop them and or see what's in stock. It's a great website designed by an awesome dude, Zanakis Nevin. Um, he's saving lives in an ER all day, and then he comes home and makes an amazing website for us all to benefit from. So get your ass on FPV Exchange, or I will hunt you down. Uh, <laughs> bunch of affiliate links here, too. This is free money. Free money with these affiliate links. Uh, if you ever find yourself doing an order for anything, it doesn't matter what you're ordering on any of these websites, FPV Exchange, FPV Cycle, I'm sorry, not FPV Exchange, FPV Cycle, Amazon, Get FPV, oh my god, uh, FPV Crate, Banggood, Camera Butter, AliExpress. If you hit my affiliate link before you check out, I will get 1-6% to of your order for nothing. You can still get free shipping, coupon codes, all that good stuff. Turbo Shill done. Let's dive into the chat if you'd like to talk to me in the chat you can do a super chat if you want to support youtube and i you can do a paypal over on cidfpv.com and then just at tag me in the chat or you can just straight up at tag me in the chat uh by typing at cidfpv or just typing cidfpv when you do that 
here's what it looks like. If you just type CIDFPV, it'll light up an orange. If you put an at in there, well, just it shows an at. But it lights up an orange, and it's really helpful. If you want to talk directly to someone in the chat, just type their name in, and YouTube will automatically make it orange for them so that they see it no matter what. Uh, FPV Trucker Frank Nicholas, Riot9, MotoRef FPV, Richard Chomper FPV is in the house, Quadzimoto, lots of repeats, lots of repeats, Paul McDonald, Dan Richmond, so many repeats, uh, Northern Tier FPV, looks like I got everybody, I'm not going to scroll too far down, the folks that have tagged me so far have been FPV Trucker saying what's cracking, Frank Nicholas dropping the link to CIDFPV.com, Chomper saying what's up collective, what up you lucky duck, fix some quads finally, Chomper's rigs probably look like they went through a wood chipper, this guy went on a multiple week tour of the country, flying and crashing and fixing and then crashing on couches and then I can't even imagine what my rigs would look like if I was flying them every day like that, that'd be kind of fun to see how bad they got. Uh, scrolling down through the chat here to get caught up. T-Bird's in the house. He tagged me and said, what's up? Michael Blade says, happy Wednesday. C Young 300 saying, what's up? Athix FPV says, I'm not saying that it's hard to fly at night without a night cam. I would assume that having a flashlight on the ground would help. Um, sort of, but it's still unbelievably difficult. Unbelievably difficult to fly at night. It, it's, it's really... Um, it's nuts. Don't do it. You, you're, we're not supposed to be doing it anyway. We're fine. Um, we don't because we don't fly at night. We fly during civil twilight, right? It just looks dark because we set our GoPros to to underexpose, right? Right? Come on. Not along with me. Yes, Siati. It's only we only fly in civil twilight. Never at night. Never at night. Only during twivel si twivel silight. <laughs> uh, double A saying hello. YouTube did the thing and scrolled me to the bottom. Scrolling back up to find my place. Rumi Tim is in the house. What's up, Dan? I haven't seen you in a minute. Uh, Drone Pilot saying hey all. Hey Seattle FPV. RC next. RC you next Tuesday saying how's it going? And cool. I'm caught up. Uh, what do you guys want to see first? Do you want to see, uh, me try to finish the... Screw you, I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what I'm doing, I'm gonna, I, I need to do this. I, I need to get this done. Um, reason being is that tomorrow... I have a meeting uh, with a really cool lady that I met uh, at the yoga studio named Ginny, who is a science teacher at this uh, school of technology that's opening right next to the um, right next to the yoga studio, actually. And uh, it's a tech it's a technical high school. What the hell is it? I don't know. It's it's some fancy private high school school uh, surrounding technology and. Uh, yeah, she's thinking that she wants to have me teach the kids drone stuff uh, uh, this this coming uh, semester to see how it goes, which is scary, but very exciting. Um, never really, uh, oh, I forgot to put the press nuts into this base plate. Oh boy, that is going to kind of be a pain in the ass to do right now. Oh, buddy, I wish I hadn't forgotten to do that. Uh, in theory, I can put them in while I'm putting it together, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to pretend like I remembered to put them in. Um, so, yeah, she's uh, she was super impressed by the, uh, the edits that I did for... Oya, the yoga studio, and from the quick conversation that we had, uh, I, I kind of picked up on the fact that she was science-minded, and I started to kind of nerd out pretty quickly in the in the quick exchange that we had while I was working the front desk um, about 
how you know we build them and tune them and, and pid loops and all that nonsense. Um, and yeah, I just happened to be talking to uh, the right person about that. So, you know, when you think you're you're nerding out to somebody that doesn't quite get it, right? Like somebody just in a yoga studio, it's like, what are the chances? Well, apparently pretty good in this case. Um, so yeah, got to have faith, I guess we could say sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to say that. That's silly. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. Wow, th this is going to be more challenging because I forgot to put these press nuts in. But we're going to make it work. So, uh, T-Bird says, do you hate kids? JK, not really. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to let that stop me. I mean, hate's a strong word. Um, I'm fine with them until they start, like, screaming and shit. And that tends to happen pretty quickly. So, you know, I don't know. I don't love kids, but I don't need to love kids. I don't have any. And I don't really plan on having any. Um, so... I'm allowed. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I would like to think that teaching kids about drones, they're going to be like, oh my god. Let me listen. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to listen. It's alright. They don't have to listen. Do whatever you want. Uncle Ciotti says, do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, right, so... I think what I'm going to do is put the arms on the X plate and then I'm going to bring the X plate up from below and then I can put a couple of uh, I can put a couple of standoffs into those arm bolts and then well that's as far as I've really thought through this so you'll get to see uh i don't know what you're gonna get to see do whatever you want don't don't ask me for advice uh what okay so if i put that that one there where's this one gonna go this one's gonna go possibly back here yeah 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 so what I'm running into here is that I've got different arms that were cut in different batches from different um, from different manufacturers over the years uh, of the glide being produced. It's been produced by different places. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is match the arms up front to rear so that they're they're exactly the right thickness um, because different carbon manufacturers like CNC Madness, for example, uh, will, this is kind of on the down low, by the way, with, in terms of them, uh, different carbon manufacturers will like sell you, uh, tell you they're going to use three millimeter carbon, and then sometimes they'll use like 2.9 millimeter carbon, or even 2.8 millimeter carbon. Uh, and that's not good, especially when you're going to put if you're gonna put two arms right next to each other like this that are slightly different thicknesses, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's not what you want. Um, Metal Dirtskin's Garmin tells him when it's Civil Twilight. That's pretty cool. Not that, not that he needs to know, though, because, you know, we pay really close attention to that because we, we make sure, of course, that we always stay within the letter of the law. Otherwise, we would be outlaws and none of us are outlaws we're just a bunch of nerds that like to play with toys and those toys happen to fly oh cock come on get in there get in there what are you not getting in there for really this is one of the ones that's threaded are you shitting me oh man really it was all going so well Oh, we're still good, though. We're still good. We're still good. Come on. Come on. Nobody fall out. Everybody just stay in. Nobody fall out. Hey! Look at that. Alright, cool. So now I'm going to put this... Uh, I'll do that in a minute. So, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to lay this down. And then hopefully... I'll be able to just pick up the squid here. And just... 
poop it down right on top here. And let's see. Come on. Come on. You're so close. I think it's probably, they're probably in there far enough where we're good. Mattertson eh. eh. says, uh, installing a Nation Gigawatt ESC. Are those OEM by Akon? They sure look the same. Uh, they are not metal. Um, and uh, when, when I messaged Corey Cricket way back when about if he'd found a, an ESC uh, that doesn't blow up, at the time, he was sponsored by Heli Nation, and I asked him about the Gigawatt, and he said he's, he'd been having trouble with them blowing up on hard crashes. But again, you're probably not going to crash as hard as him, so you should be all right, maybe. B-Man saying, what's up? Drone Drop says, happy to be here and live again. Always looking forward to these streams. Thanks for the info uh, on the Runcam Hybrid. I also just ordered a Phoenix 2 for a 3-inch rig. Thanks. You're certainly welcome, Drone Drops. Glad to have you, man. You're a you're a new name. I always like seeing new names in here. Um, quite frankly, I need as as many new names as I can possibly get. Uh, so tell your friends. Everybody, tell your friends to uh, to come on over and and hang out with us so that we can assimilate them. Uh, so that I can keep on doing this because I like doing it. I like hanging out with you guys. I like. Uh, I like turtles. Oh, well, that's... What the hell's going on there? I gotta take a look at that in a minute. Uh, you know what I mean? I like turtles, right? Do you guys like turtles? Hey, guys! Hey! <laughs> Did I imagine, like, people in your house being like, Whoa, what? 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 What do you want, Ciotti? What? Oh God, this one's fighting me. So this is uh, this is a weird way to do this, but it's it's gonna work. I swear, it's gonna work. Just keep screwing. Just keep screwing. Just keep screwing. He touched the screw. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Cause it just keeps swimming, and then he touched the boat. Uh oh. Just keep screwing. He touched the butt. Oh wait, no, don't they say butt in the in Finding Nemo, or do they call it a boat? No, I think they call it a butt, right? Well, that still works. Screwing and then butts, you know what I mean? Okay, moving on. Uh, we're getting there. These screws are tightening. Hey, that one just kind of tightened up there. Let's see what happens with this one. Look at that. It got tight. Go figure. Caleb says, is access trash? Absolutely. Well, I mean, access is probably okay, but R9 is definitely trash. Um, regular old FR Sky, I, I had really good luck with regular old FR Sky for a long time, which is, which is now kind of called access. I mean, my understanding is access is just the designation of FR Sky basically saying, Fuck you, we changed it so that you have to rebuy all your stuff. Haha. -ha. <laughs> we win. Um, but I, I know there were some benefits, like over the air, something or other. So th there were benefits to access. Um, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would have gone on to Crossfire a lot earlier. Um, the the crossfire nanos are very cheap they're very easy to get your hands on and yeah there's just kind of no reason to not at the very least go crossfire right off the right off the jump um again certainly don't have to i went without it for a long time and it was, and that was fine uh but you're gonna end up on crossfire or on Tracer or on Ghost, more than likely. So, yeah. If you're still in that buying phase, it kind of makes sense to just bite the bullet and go that route now, rather than waiting. Uh, Envy of the Birds went from a real name to this name and not sure I like it yet. I like it, Envy. T-Bird says that's what she said. Jory FPV says... Are you still planning something around the flow state screen, screening? I'll be coming. Wouldn't mind hanging out with some other pilots. 
uh, while I'm in town if there's room. Jory, thank you for the reminder. If you have received your confirmation from Joshua and or... Um, it's probably coming from Joshua. Uh, that you do have a spot for Flow State and you would like to hang out and or fly with me and the other guys from the chat, uh, shoot me a message. Ciati FPV on Instagram or Facebook uh, or Smoke Signals. And uh, I've got a little list. So far on the list, we've got T-Bird, Bob Noxious, Athic, Skippy FPV, Todd Allen, and Grizz FPV. Uh, previous, so the Flow State is going to start at... Uh, Flow State, for anybody uninitiated, uh, is a documentary that James Christensen made about FPV. Uh, somehow, I'm in this documentary, which is just the strangest goddamn thing in the world. Um, for little old Ciati FPV, the in air quotes, Micro King, uh, made it into the only, like, real piece of media that we've got in FPV. You know, we don't have magazines, we don't have anything, like, big and fancy, but we're about to have a documentary, which is just incredible. James, um, man, James is, uh, a gift from the heavens for, for taking this project on. Uh, well, I shouldn't even say that. It, it's a gift that, uh, that we got FPV in front of James for him to fall in love with it, uh, which is actually what happened. Um, so, yeah, that uh, it's going to be a pre-screening on the 17th, one or two Saturdays from now, two Saturdays from now, uh, here in Atlanta. And uh, there are going to be 140 pilots here in Atlanta that weekend. So, what I'm planning on doing is getting as many of you guys together as I can and taking you to some of the spots where you can actually get some batteries in. The, the, the big, super popular spots are going to be overrun by 140 pilots, right? And like, you'll be lucky if you get to fly a battery. Um, I have some pretty famous, pretty gnarly spots, one of which you just saw at the beginning of this live stream, uh, around me here in Alpharetta, which is like 30 minutes from downtown Atlanta, depending on traffic, uh, that I want to take you guys around to so that you can actually get some batteries in. Uh, so yeah, message me if you want to get in on those shenanigans. We're going to fly before Fly State. Fly State? Great. We're going to fly before Flow State, and then we're also going to try to fly after it, depending on uh, whether or not Joshua has locked down a venue for everybody to hang out. If, if he manages to find a venue for 140 people to hang out at, uh, we won't be flying after Flow State. We'll just be hanging out there and bullshitting. Uh, but before... You know, maybe like, I don't know, starting at 2 o'clock, maybe 3. Well, so that's going to be a Saturday. So I'm going to be uh, at the yoga studio until 2. So probably at like 3 o'clock, uh, we could meet up somewhere and uh, burn some batteries. And it'll be really fun and break all of our stuff. And then we can go see an FPV documentary and shit our pants. Well, you guys are going to shit your pants because you're not going to believe how good it is. Uh, I've already seen it, so I know how unbelievably good it is. Uh, and it is pretty good. You guys are going to really enjoy it. So yeah, if you're, uh, if you're interested in meeting and or hanging out with me uh, and or flying with me, just shoot me a message somewhere uh, at Ciati FPV, preferably Instagram or Facebook. But uh, you can find me all over the damn place if you don't have either one of those, which I know a lot of you guys don't. Uh, so I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this foot on for some reason. Is this one of the... No, this is not one of the new arms. Very obviously not one of the new arms. I guess it's just kind of tight. Unto you, chat. My TPU is very tight, guys. 
my fucking oh, get on there Jesus get in there oh I mean I got it in there but I fucking paid the price god damn it that hurt uh okay 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 Man, look how beat it. This thing is whooped, yo. Okay, so now I gotta try to get these. Uh, I gotta try to get these press nuts in here. But first, let me put a uh, Jesus. Let me put a Jesus. First, let me put a Jesus. First, I would like to just get to know you. Who knows what that's from? <laughs> Oh, balls. Why is that so long? <laughs> Man, I fucking punched that thing hard. What is, uh, what's the deal with these? How long are these? These are... 10 millimeters. That's just, that's just stupid. We don't need, we don't need 10 mils. Oh, and I have a ton of these M3x9s that I've been hoarding like a... Like a, well, like a hoarder. Uh... <laughs> Caleb says, I found a QX7 for 75 bucks. Should I get it? My first radio. I think so. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the QX7. Man, my hand hurts. I uh, really punched it. I really did. I gave it a, I gave the world a punch. Uh, that being said, that's only a $25 discount over a new. You can get a new one for a hundred bucks, I think. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, here's the thing about used transmitters is that the gimbals, if, if they've not switched, even if they've switched over to hall sensor gimbals, uh, the gimbals are not gonna be as fresh so there there is an advantage to buying a uh, a fresh radio and the gimbals are a lot more than safe. yeah you know I would pay the extra 25 bucks to get a brand new one come to think of it Caleb I mean that's a fine deal but if you're gonna stay in the hobby you're gonna wear out gimbals and yeah you might as well have gimbals that last a little bit longer for a couple extra dollars because replacing the gimbals ain't cheap there we go cool okay yeah so the i'm going to use these uh m3 by nines for the bottom uh the bottom of the front standoffs that makes me happy because that frees up some m uh m3 by tens which i th think i might have run out of recently oh wow i've got all different length screws that's that's cute uh so let me go here i use these little uh what are they called i don't know i use these little red things to kind of spread the uh <laughs> i use them to spread out the load guys that's what I use them for. I use them to spread out the load. That's not be, me being gross. That's what I'm actually using them for. If you think I'm just being gross, I mean, you're right, but um, I have a really good excuse this time, so screw you. Uh, Motoref is in the house. He says, what's the status on the Miata? Well, I'll tell you the status on the Miata Motor Ref because it changed today. I messaged the guy that's fucking me over the other day about it, and he didn't get back to me. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when I did a whole bunch of the, of the flying work at that shop, I was wearing a mask. This was like... This was like still when... Masks were full-blown mandatory. And I was the only one at this shop wearing a mask. Nobody else. Just me. All right? Which is probably the first thing that tipped them off to the fact that I'm a, you know, 
liberal like lover of uh of things in the world that are not evil um today on facebook is a picture of him on a ventilator in really bad shape in the hospital so status on the miata is not good and COVID is fucking real stop being idiots about it you're gonna fucking kill someone so there's that i hate to use someone else's you know whatever but like it's a fucking airborne virus come on so yeah get vaccinated don't fuck around don't be the reason that someone else dies please uh this got very very angry uh when i screwed these down so i need to figure out a way to safely push this camera mount over was that ranty enough for you guys did we get a good uh a good early stream rant in there any anti-vaxxers in, in the chat that want to try to tell me how wrong I am? If there are, I want to make sure that you remember that you don't have to be here. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you to watch this. You can leave at any time. I hope you don't, because you'll learn a little something if you stay. But, uh, you know... It's not a requirement that you sit here and listen to science. <laughs> Even though you fly a helicopter that has so much science in it that you should really be believing in a little bit of science. Come on now. Come on. Come on. It's okay to be wrong. It's all right. You're, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's all good, man. We're all wrong over and over again in life. It's fine. You just gotta learn from it. It's all that matters. You just gotta learn from it. You don't learn anything when you're right. You only learn when you're wrong. So be wrong. Be wrong all the time. It's fucking great. You're gonna learn a lot. And people are gonna be like, oh shit, I taught this guy something. That was awesome. And he like actually listened? Oh my god. People love that, yo. Don't you love that? Don't you love when you, you're talking to somebody and they're like, no, I don't know that. And you tell them that and they're like, oh, that's so cool. Give someone else that experience. I know it's hard. I have trouble with it. But be wrong, yo. You only learn when you're wrong. You never learn a thing when you're right. Because you already know it. So that's my advice for the night. Be wrong. But cop to it. That's the key. Gotta cop to it. It's alright. It's all good. No judgment. Still be boys. Still be friends. Everything's cool. Well, we got off on quite the tangent pretty quick here. Any other brain busters? <laughs> uh, by the way, my little method of uh, installing these press nuts, it's working perfectly. There's kind of no benefit to not doing it like this. Um, so I don't think I'm going to pre-install the press nuts anymore because this is totally fine. Like, this is exactly the way that I install them when I pre-install them, but it takes extra time that way. So this is great. Just make sure that uh, the first install here, you really crank these guys down because you really want to bury the uh, the press nut uh, in that puss. Uh, in the... Uh, 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 Drop says, what are your thoughts on the Fox Ear Box 2? It's kind of smelly. Uh, Double A says not doing it, but you're uh, but you're a friend and I love you. That's all right, Double A. I'll pray for you. It's fine. You guys do whatever you want. I just 
have to mouth off from time to time. Uh, drone drops, yeah, it's no good. Um, none of the none of the box cameras. <laughs> Did you guys catch that box joke, by the way? Um, I don't know if that's just my generation. Uh, yeah, none of them are good. Uh, session four on eBay for a hundred bucks is your best bet for getting HD uh, in a square uh, in a square form factor. Chris Dent says two new crossfire receivers wired properly, set up properly, not work, not communicate with the flight controller. Is there a fix for this, uh, or is it just twenty five down the drain? Um, I mean, Chris, just just whoever you bought them from, just email them and tell them exactly that, and tell them they need to send you more that work. Um, they're probably going to ask you to take like a picture of how you wired it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know. There's, there's, if, if you buy something and it doesn't work, return it. Um, just because it's FPV doesn't mean that the, the resellers can just say, no, fuck you. You don't know how to build. Give us more money. Um, this is one of the reasons that, uh, get FPV is my favorite shop because their customer service team and their return policy is better than anybody else. Uh, sometimes get FPV doesn't have the, the parts that I need. Uh, so I'll go to pyro drone and their return, uh, their customer service and returns have been great as well. Not quite as great as, as get FPV. Um, but yeah, I, I really encourage you guys, not just because I have an affiliate link there, I swear. Um, I encourage you guys to order from get FPV as often as you can, if they have the parts that you need. Because, yeah, if, if something's fucked up, they're going to take care of you. Uh, and they're going to take care of you with a lot less hassle than any of the other shops in my pretty considerable experience. Like, I've ordered a lot of shit in this hobby to do testing with and break and fly and smash and destroy. So I have a, I mean, I've ordered like 20, 30 times from each of these manufacturers, if not more than that. Um, so I have a really good feel for... Who stands behind, you know, what they sell? Who like makes the return process and process impossible so that you'll just give up? Uh, versus who actually wants to make it right to lock you in as a customer for life? Um, and Get FPV has always stood out above the rest in that respect. Um, but that being said, even if you didn't order those from Get FPV, still. Bitch and moan, dude. Like, that's not cool. You you didn't do anything wrong. They sent you a faulty product. They need to take that up with TBS. Make them. Make them take it up with TBS so that they don't get fucked either, right? Like, TBS, it, it sounds like, uh, produced two receivers that don't work. Well, they need to make that right. That You know? It's, uh... It's funny, like... <laughs> It's not just you. I, for the record, um, I'm 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 definitely not picking on you. Uh, if it came off as that, I apologize. Um, this is this ha like once a week somebody will ask that same question. Like, oh, I bought a couple of these. I'm fucked. Ugh. And it, it's I don't know what it is about FPV, but it like it just makes us think that like we did everything wrong. I guess because you know these these are hard to build and like we do blow stuff up a lot. So I feel like we just uh, we just assume that we're, we're out here on our own in the middle of nowhere just praying that we get some stuff that works. Um, but that ain't it, man. These, uh, in the same way that if you went to the grocery store and bought a dozen eggs and you got home and they were, and they were all rotten, um, that's not your fault. Take them fuckers back. Get you some good eggs, yo! Strained metaphor. Uh, I'm getting behind on chat. What's going on here? Uh, Drone Drop says a new name. Although I know you a lot, although I know you a lot longer, I didn't mean to make this sound creepy. Not creepy at all. You're good. Uh, T-Bird says, press nuts or nylon not locking nuts? My new glide came with both. Wonder why it can't... No, the, the, the nylock nuts are for the stack mount. Uh, those won't work in the new base plates. The new base plates require the, 
uh, the press nuts because they're uh, the hole is bigger. Uh, Caleb says, uh, "Sorry for bugging you so much. What's the best beginner budget ish around a hundred dollars for video?" Hey, chat, can you guys help uh, Caleb out? We we talked about this last stream. I, I gave him my opinions. Um, you guys know my opinions. Do me a favor. Um, it looks like you guys already are. Uh, but yeah, chat, do me a huge favor and, and give Caleb some other options because the the QX7 option I gave him um, it, it doesn't sound like he's he's really wanting to go that route. Um, and you guys quite quite honestly know more about transmitters than I do because I've had the same one for four and a half years. Um, Isaac M says, in my experience, RDQ has better support than GetFPV. Just my opinion, though. Isaac, I gotta be honest. I, I gotta be honest. You're the first person I've ever heard say that, <laughs> and like I'm not even just saying that. Like you are literally the first person I've ever heard say that RDQ has better support than GetFPV. Um, how many support tickets have you have you had open with with either company? Um, out of curiosity Fairly Functional says Hey man, Mobula 6 is chewing up batteries in 2 minutes Used to get 3, are the motors wearing out? Uh, if they're brushless motors No uh, My guess would be you're just flying it harder Fairly as you, like, You'll get better flying inside with a tiny whoop Pretty quickly um, Yeah, I think you're just flying it harder Man Um Two min. I I would kill to get two minutes. Uh, I get about a minute and a half. Um. Yeah, brushless motors just don't wear out. I mean, technically speaking, these 0802s, they do have bushings instead of bearings, and technically the bushings could be wearing out. But what's interesting is if the bushings were wearing out, um, it would uh, it would potentially make them more efficient. So when I, uh, yeah, I I think you're just flying harder. I really do. I think you're getting used to it and and you're getting more comfortable, um, and you're just using more throttle. But uh, grab the motors, grab the the bottom of the motor where it's mounted, and then grab the the bell, and try to move it. Uh, if the if the bushings are wearing out, then the 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 bell with the motor shaft in it is going to move all over the place on the stator. Um, yeah. Change anything else? Imp FPV says, what if they are FPV eggs? Then you should just throw them off the balcony. Journey Droid says, just wired Crossfire Nano RX, no, uh, no LED, any ideas? I always assume that it was my fault, but come on, four wires in the right order, what could go wrong? Yeah, I mean, there's there's really nothing to troubleshoot. Like, you, 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 you send something power that has an LED on it, if it doesn't blink the LED, it's broken. You know? Email the shop that you bought it from, tell them it's broken, tell them what's going on, they'll send you another one. I know it's annoying, but, you know, why troubleshoot? Like, if you're absolutely certain that you've got, and this is the, the key part, if you're absolutely certain that the wires are in the right spots and you've multimetered and you know that it's getting five volts and ground, stop troubleshooting. Stop wasting your time. Send that, use that time sending that email and then moving on to something else and waiting for the, the replacement to come. Uh, Ricardo says, do you know when Cadex Peanut 2K Instago looks like is released? Uh, I haven't heard about the Cadex Peanut in months. Uh... Caddx is probably busy with all of the DJI nonsense. Fairly Functional says, no, flying the same as always. Uh, Isaac says, quite a few tickets with both companies, less with GetFPV. Uh, they're fine, but already, uh, uh, RDQ has always been outstanding. Um, I, I don't doubt it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I've, I've always heard that... Uh, uh, my personal experiences and many, 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 many people that I fly with and trust and, and whatnot um, have all had better experiences with GetFPV than RDQ. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe somebody at RDQ likes you, Isaac. Uh, Remy Tim with a really good point. He says, fairly functional, more likely your batteries are wearing out. Very true. Tiny Whoop batteries... Uh, man, you do not get many many cycles out of them before they shit the bed. Uh, so that's a, a really good point by Dan. You might 
next time you're doing an order, buy like one fresh battery that's identical to your others, and then you can A, B them. The fresh battery versus the, uh, the ones that you've got. Um, okay, so I've got those four press nuts in there. There was something that I wanted to check on this. What the hell was it? I had a thought. What was that thought? Uh, it was a thought when I was holding the hammer. Oh, 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 I gotta get this camera straightened out. Looks like this camera might be on two different mounts. No, it's not. The mount's just printed in the same direction. Uh, yeah, these, uh, these camera mounts are being very angry. We can't have that. We can't have angry camera mounts. That's a deal breaker if I ever heard one. Why is this, why is this fighting me so much? Oh, because I'm stuck on the motor bell. There we go. Okay. So, are you going to cooperate? Man, it, it is hard. There's like, there's a lot going on up here. It's hard to put pressure on this uh, camera mount, but at the same time not like slip and smash anything. Let me... Let me... Come back to that. Let's get the rest of the rig built and then I'll deal with that. No, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget. So this is kind of important. When, when you use TPU, uh, poop. When you use TPU camera mounts, make sure that when you put the camera on, uh, it's sitting straight because if the camera is either crooked on the roll axis or crooked on the yaw axis, it's going to be bad. You're going to fly real bad um, because when you think things are straight, the rig ain't going to be straight. So definitely pay attention to that. That's what we got going on here. And uh, for the most part, you can just kind of eyeball it. Mm. Yo, this is being a real dick on this side. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, cool. Did that straighten it out? No, it did not. Why did that not straighten it out? What the hell is going on here? You can also look at it from the bottom and that makes it really easy to tell you. Yeah, this thing is quite crooked. Oh, did that just fix it? I think that partially fixed it. So if I line up that on that piece of carbon, so we got that PCB is even with that. Yep, now we're good. Cool. I just needed to uh, to rotate the camera up and down from low up tilt to high up tilt, and that just kind of settled the let the TPU kind of settle in there. Uh, all right, so let's get the rest of these standoffs in, and then we can just kind of keep going with the assembly process here. So this standoff here has a microphone attached to it. Uh, I'm not sure why I put a microphone on the basher quad, but it's fine. The microphones are like three dollars, and uh, if I'm ever flying this thing in a really loud situation, like a drift event, I'll be really happy that I've got the uh, the microphone on it. Because when you can't hear the motors on your rig it kind of adds this virtual latency. Um, it's not actually adding latency, obviously, but it certainly seems like it when you're flying. Uh, I think that's, I've always thought that's because the, uh, when, you, when you change the throttle, when you add or subtract throttle while you're flying, um, the entire six, 
600 plus grams of the rig has to react. And that reaction is going to take a little bit of time. So it's naturally the most latent stick input, right? Because roll, pitch, and yaw, all it has to do is rotate the quad. Uh, whereas throttle, it has to move the entire quad. These guys are getting a little rounded out. Uh, also, in the goggles, the motion, like, when you hammer the throttle, the, the rig just goes up and down, and, like, the things that you're looking at don't really change all that much. So, again, it adds, like, this virtual latency. Uh, so, what I think happens is that we use our ears for to kind of like hear and get feedback when we change the throttle because so like we make these tiny little throttle changes um and like practically nothing happens in the goggles so then you'll have this tendency to to make another like so let's say you're adding throttle if you add a little bit of throttle and nothing happens in the goggles you're going to add a little bit more and then a lot of times that's going to be too much and you'll do this thing where you kind of start bouncing around um, so by having audio, you hear the change that you made in the throttle and your brain goes, okay, just hold on a second. Don't, don't make another correction. Just wait because you know that you made the correction, right? It's easy to, it's easy to move the throttle on the transmitter and have your, and have it be such a small little adjustment that your brain pretty quickly goes, Oh shit! Maybe the, maybe the stick didn't move at all. Let me, I got to move it a little bit more. Whereas if you get that audio cue of like, you know, um, you'll know that you move the throttle and you'll know to leave the throttle alone and just wait. Um, a lot of what I teach in the flight coaching and, and the flight instruction um, is the concept of just leaving it. Just leave the rig alone. Stop moving the sticks around. When you move the sticks around, it's hard to watch. When you leave the sticks where they are, people can act, people's eyes can actually follow the action. And that's kind of the point, right? Um, so yeah, that's one of the things that I really drill into people um, during that flight instruction uh, that I do over on Fiverr or if you just uh, message me directly. I'd love to work with you and you and you too. Nah, not you. You, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll work with you. You seem like a cool person. Nah, not you. You're a bad person. Insulting his audience since 2019. Uh, okay. Let's put a little bit of heat on this VHB because I'm being lazy. And then we're going to stick it down to the rear of the back plate here. And we'll be one step closer. Can you guys hear the fan that I turned on, by the way? I doubt it. Uh, I just did a little bit more reading today on the uh, M1 chip and OBS. And it ain't looking great. It ain't looking great. <laughs> There's apparently still a lot of problems between... I think like, oh, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't know computers, but it, it sounds like, hopefully this makes sense, OBS was created for ARM, and then the M1 is like emulating ARM, and then that's causing all these weird problems with, because like OBS barely works as it is, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, it's almost got me thinking like, should I get like a you this whole buy I don't typically buy anything new ever I try to always buy used stuff um, is this my sign from the universe that I should be buying a used like year old Mac that's gonna be infinitely faster than this 12 year old one and it's gonna jive better with OBS, which is like the main use for this computer. 
Word FPV says, can you tell me a little bit about how deadband works? Super simple word. It's just an area in the dead center where nothing happens. If you move the stick, nothing happens because what it's accounting for is any potential like jitter or slop in the sticks. If, if your sticks don't perfectly center, um, this is going to give you a little bit of a dead spot so that the rig doesn't constantly move around. So that when the sticks center, but they're not totally centered, the rig stays flat and stays centered. Where the hell are the are the the Immortal T TPU mounts? Did I eat them? Where have they gone? Why are they not here? Wop 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 wop. Maybe they're in here. Make sure I didn't miss anything in the chat. Oh my god, I missed a ton of stuff in the chat. Uh, Drone Drop says, camera mount slides over the standoffs. Is there a good solution for getting that tighter? Uh, I use tie wraps under and over the mount. It does the job, but it looks stupid. Um, yeah, I mean, that'll totally work, Drone Drops. I use uh, shrink wrap, shrimp wrap, rather. Uh, but yeah, whatever works. I mean, the real solution is to have a new, have new ones printed that are tighter. Uh, what's up, Squints? How are you, Adam? Uh, but yeah, whatever works, man. A, a little dab of like super glue even would work. You're just gonna smash it in the concrete anyway. T Bird says, I always have to wire crossfire a few times before it's right. Remember when you did my glide? RDQ uh, is my very last choice. I had to reorder a Tiny Hawk three times. They keep sending me the easy trainer. <laughs> wow. They're really insistent on you flying the easy trainer, Tyler. Uh, Word FPV says, perfect thanks. So when throttle is, uh, is going before I want, should number from 98. So it's deadband does not apply to throttle. Uh, deadband only applies to pitch roll yaw. Um, so yeah. Uh, really good healthy game. I haven't talked uh, healthy gamer in in a while. Uh, if you guys don't know what healthy gamer is, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, YouTube channels. Uh, Doctor K, Alok Kanoja. There's a link. Uh, is a um, psychiatrist who specializes in gaming addiction. Uh, he failed out of medical school at 23 years old because he played too many video games, said, fuck the world, I'm going to India, uh, and I'm going to learn to be a monk in an ashram. Spent seven years uh, learning Eastern medicine, met his now wife, moved back to the U.S. His wife said, you should probably get your, uh, your finish up your degree. He did. Uh, he realized as a psychiatrist in, you know, current times that gaming addiction is a really big problem. Uh, and that's what he chose to be his specialty. He is now a Harvard, uh, Harvard professor, uh, specializing in that and healthy gamer is his Twitch channel and YouTube channel. That was a side hustle. That's now turned into something way, way, way beyond a side hustle. Um, Amazing stuff on there. Subscribe to it. New stuff will come up. If you see something that strikes your eye, watch it. Um, he's putting lots of stuff up that's less than 10 minutes. Just dig in. Really good stuff in there. Um, the, uh, the the video that I just recently of his watched that I was thinking about, which started this stream of consciousness, was... How to fix a degenerate... Uh, a degen sleep schedule. And I'm going to drop a link to that one. And he said something in here that's so simple, uh, but just... There it is. Uh, it, it just made so much sense to me. And, like, a lot of stuff in psychology is like that, right? Like, like I go to talk therapy and, like, Sean will say something to me. I'm like, of course, of course it's that simple. But nobody's said it to me in the, in the specific context, right? Um, so... 
Yeah, basically, I mean, you should watch that. Like, for real, you should watch that. It's it's four whole minutes. Um, because the thing that he said that, that clicked for me might not be the thing that he said that'll click for you. But basically what he said that really um, got me is to not try to control your bedtime because you can't control whether or not you fall asleep. You just have to fall asleep. What you can control is waking up. Like, you're not going to want to wake up, but you at least have control over it. Like, you're awake, you can choose to stand up and walk out of bed. Um, and, like, I know that seems kind of obvious, but, yeah, basically, uh, he says to focus on the morning. And if you get up and then you're really tired that night because you got up, then you'll fall asleep. And then if it happens again and again, right, like, it might take a few days. But, yeah, don't try to control going to sleep because you can't. Right? You can't just lay down in bed and go, okay, and sleep. Um, if you're like me, you have to lay down in bed and second and third and fourth guess every single decision that you made over the course of the day, how it could affect every single possible human being you've ever met, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Do I seriously not have a single set of Immortal T TPU. Is that really what you're gonna sit here and tell me, Toolbox? Not Toolbox, I don't know what these little boxes are called. Are you really gonna do me like that? Is that really what's going on right now? Well, first off, I, I do want to, to get all of the TPU out of here and get it all into the TPU box. So this is my excuse to do that. This is the antenna box. So I'm gonna fill this up with, oh, I don't know, uh, antennas? So let's do that. I know some of you guys get off on watching me get organized and or stay organized. I feel like every single one of you guys always just says, holy shit, you're so organized. Uh, like, how do you do that? There has to be... Let me flip it on you, dirty bad. Why? Why? Uh, let me flip it on you guys. Who out there is more organized than me? There has to be somebody. Show yourself. Admit it. Admit that you're more organized. Somebody admit it. Somebody just lie so that I feel better and I can move on to talking about something else. Uh, T-Bird says, when I saw that post from Healthy Gamer, you shot right to my mind right away. Yeah, right? Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm serious, guys. Uh, subscribe to Healthy Gamer. Um, it has changed my whole shit. Um, a lot of the improvements that you've seen in me this year, uh, and there have been a lot, uh, have been due to Healthy Gamer. Um, it's really... It's just, it's, it's just like the, kind of the first time that, like... Mm, no, I can't say that. I, I was going to say it's like the first time that something's been kind of geared towards us, like, gamer types, but I guess I guess that's kind of true. I don't know. It's, uh, it's really good. And um, if I found out that you're not subscribed, uh, I'm going to beat you with a stick. So, you know, just go ahead and subscribe because... I don't want to have to, like, drive all the way out there and fucking find a stick, and then, like, I'm going to second guess, like, well, how big of a stick? Like, how angry am I? And then, like, you know, if it's too big of a stick, like... <laughs> what does it all mean? What does it all mean? Why does this man say these things on YouTube? Uh, alright, let's see how many of these antennas I can fit in here. Antennas, as uh, Nick Burns lovingly calls them. 
Uh, Nick Burns is another guy. If, if you guys aren't subscribed to Nick Burns, I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Uh, so go. Uh, he is hands down the best micro reviewer in the world. Come on, don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't be too tall. Don't be too tall. Don't. Don't. Don't be too tall. Don't you do it. Don't. No. It's going to be too tall, isn't it? No. No. <laughs> Whose cats are in the room like, what? 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 What am I doing wrong? I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Leave me alone. Trying to be a cat. Hey, look at that. Most of the antennas are in the antenna box. What a goddamn revelation. All right. Don E with a $3 super chat. No comment. He just wants to send some love. Thank you, Don. Uh, T-Bird says, have you ever thought about trying, about trying to being a guest? Trying to being guest. You trying to say bring on a guest or be a guest on somebody else's show? I would love to be a guest on somebody else's show. I was on uh, Michael Rollins' podcast. Michael Rollins and I talked about mental health for like an hour and a half uh, over on his channel. Hey, can a mod uh, drop a link to that? Do we have any mods in the house? T-Bird, I'm going to make you a mod. Because uh, I don't see any mods in here. If a mod can drop the link to the uh, Michael Rollins interview, I would love that. That would be uh, very cool of you. Uh, because that that was great, man. We, we talked about some really good shit uh, and covered a lot of really good ground. And, yeah, I had a blast. Uh, in terms of me bringing a guest on, probably not. Um, it's just kind of not like... I'm, I don't have any experience interviewing, and, and I don't really have any interest, per se, in, in interviewing. Uh, it's just kind of not my thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, I've kind of tried to figure that out before from a technical standpoint, and this computer just shits the bed. Uh, maybe once there's a faster computer here, I'll revisit it, but... Yeah, I don't know. Like, the this live stream began from this standpoint of, like, I've got a bunch of knowledge. I want to get a bunch of people surrounding me uh, that are interested in that knowledge and can kind of, like, almost help me test that knowledge and, and just build, uh, build the knowledge base around uh, micros, primarily. And it's, it's snowballed into something much greater than that as you guys and potentially gal uh, have seen. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The, the whole guest thing, like the... Oh, talk with Dr. K. Oh my god, I would love that. Uh, that would be a, a huge honor. Um... I've thought about it before. Um, I feel like I could maybe... Well, here's the thing, though. His his audience is very young. His audience are, like, teenagers in, in, in their 20s. Um, I'm older than Dr. K. Uh, which could be really interesting, right? Like, that, that could be really... I've got one. I found one. Uh, but this is the same one that I found a minute ago. You son of a bitch. I only have one. Are you... Is this for real? Is this really happening right now? Um... Yeah, I, I would absolutely love that. But, uh... Usually the streamers that he has on are much bigger streamers. Um... And... Yeah, I don't know. It would be great. But, uh... I, I'm also lucky enough to sort of, uh, 
have been in therapy a lot, and uh, you know I can afford and and have not necessarily just afford it because most of these streamers can afford to go to therapy, but um, I'm willing to go right. Like one of the magical things, in my opinion, uh, with Dr. K streams are that um, a lot of the streamers that he has on have been resistant to therapy or they aren't currently going or whatever um i've got an absolutely brilliant talk therapist right now that i'm able to work through stuff that i've never been able to touch with a 10-foot pole before um so i'm kind of like and he's certainly had people on before that are in uh you know currently in treatment therapy um See, I don't know. It would be really... I, I, again, I, I would absolutely love it. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know. It would be really cool. Um... I can't, uh... I can't do anything. I can't do anything with only one of these. How the fuck? How is this possible? Of all the things to not have, is this really happening right now? Hold on. Hold on. This is... This unchecked aggression will not stand. First person to call it out gets a big prize! A big prize. Billy on the street, 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 Uh, okay. Fuck you, world. How dare you do me like this! God damn it, Larry. Oh, that camera's on. Okay, don't dance while that one's on. They'll see ya. Um... I guess we're finishing the fireworks edit. Um... Fuck, I really needed to have this rig done for tomorrow. I wanted to show Ginny... I wanted to fly... Uh, for Ginny and put her in the goggles and hear her go, oh my god, like everybody does when you, oh no, I wouldn't be able to give her goggles, I'd have to just give her a screen. Um, fuck. Wow. What an obnoxious thing to run out of. Wow. So I do have some of these... Immortal T's that run straight, mounts that run straight off the back standoffs, but they end up putting the damn thing really high. I guess I could just use them for now. I'm kind of stalling because I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that my brain will go, Ooh! I know where you've got one stashed. But, um, hasn't happened yet. Hmm. Let me check one spot. Let me check my flight bag. Hold on, please. I'll be right back. I'm right here. I'm on the floor. I'm looking through this thing. Nope. Oh, I just farted and shit my pants. I'll be right back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What do you want from me? I try to make this shit entertaining. Come hell or high water. 
what is this doing in here? What are you, what are you doing in there? Get out of there. Get. Get out of there. What are you doing? Get. Get out of there. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I could gank one off one of the other rigs, but... They're all, like, active working rigs. Um... And, like, I kind of might as well just bring one of them tomorrow. Fuck! Fuck! Ka! Um... Wow! This is a real... Smack in the face. Oh! Yes! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew there were more! I knew it! Look at this! Look how many! Look how many! Ah! Uh. Face. Oh god. My face all fucked up from that? That wasn't good. Sometimes you just know, man. You just fucking know. That was that was strange. Okay. Look at them all! Look at them! Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting here like why just one? Why just one? How? Why? See that? Gotta stick with it. Now they're in the right place, too. Okay. Let's peel off some... I don't know. Uh, hot glue is the key. Um, wall frames, quads on the wall, fireworks flight was awesome. How do you know it's up and down? Yeah, it was tough to know it was up and down. But uh, stubbornness and uh, probably at this point tens of thousands of hours uh, of flying. Maybe Tim says, perks of a 3D printer, you literally could have printed uh, in the time you were looking. That's not true. It would have taken way longer than that. Not that much longer. Would have taken longer, though. And then I would have had, I would, I would have less money for uh, motor testing. And nobody wants that. All right, this is fine. What about this one? What about this one? Mm, okay. Good to go. Never gonna happen. Don't get on the goddamn... Ugh, you need a 3D printer train again. It's never gonna... At this point, the more you guys say that I need to get a 3D printer, the longer it's gonna be... To, to potentially never. Like, if you guys stop mentioning it, maybe I'll get one. But if you guys keep mentioning it, just in spite of you, I'll refuse. <laughs> that's how... That's what a stubborn motherfucker I am! <laughs> that's what you're dealing with here. This printed a little, uh... A little angrily. Let me get... Let me get a little bit more of this material off here. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be fine though. Uh, let me stop being a nutcase. And just stick it on there. Let me stop being crazy and just stick it in. Uh, right side, left side. Uh, that. Uh... Wait a second. What? There it is. There it is. That's how it goes. Uh, right, and left, right, yeah, Le right, wait, left, no, 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. It's organic. It grows in the earth. Don't vilify it. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, here we go. Let's get some of these guys in. Oh shit, fairly functional Benta motor bell in the Mobula. Don't ask him how. Everybody ask him how. Finn FPV is in the house. He's way late. I'm doing good, man. Remy Tim says, nope, that part would take seven minutes to print because a pair is 15. Push hard, chasing FPV says. Uh, I'm not saying to get a printer, he says. It's an, inv it's an insane time suck and source of many frustrations. <laughs> Just saying for the sake for the sake of saying. I actually, I, I actually like, at this point, a part of the reason is that I would prefer to just be able to say, nah, I do what I want. <laughs> and I know you stubborn motherfuckers know exactly what I mean. Sometimes in life, you just gotta put your foot down. You gotta just say, no. Nah! I'm going to do what I want to do, even if it's dumb. No! Because otherwise, you'll take the advice of someone else, and it'll probably make your life better. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? What way? Woody Wiswell in the house. This is really... Good to go. Never mind. It was about to be full-on rage rhino time, but uh, I wish I'd had a live stream back when uh, when I was building airsoft guns. Yo, that would have been a real comedic showcase. I was really good at cursing back then. I'm pretty good now, but and I'd get all angry. The, like airsoft guns are about seven thousand times more difficult to build than these. And, like, back then there were just zero resources, so I was just out in the woods all on my own trying to figure out how to upgrade the damn things. Um, and, man, it got, it got crazy. Brad and I called it the Rage Rhino. We'd be working, and it wouldn't, it w we'd be trying to fix it. It wouldn't work. We wouldn't be able to get it shimmed right, or pistons would keep breaking, or the gearboxes would keep breaking, or the... Wiring assembly. My god, everything on those fucking things would break, come to think of it. Um, and yeah, it would just get real frustrating. And the Rage Rhino would come, and he'd be like running around, knocking shit over. And then we're just trying to get this shit done. That's it. That's the end of the story. Wasn't a very good one this time. Usually they're better than that for anybody that's new. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes. Sometimes this channel's entertaining. Sometimes it's just a lonely man. <laughs> Building quads all by himself. Q prices right fail horn now. It's all good. I like to think that you guys are all building right along with me. Because if you're not, what the fuck are you doing? Get off the couch and build. Use let my pain during the build process fuel you to join me in the worst part of the hobby. Please. Because otherwise... Otherwise, you're going to have to do it alone, and you might lose it and turn into somebody like me. <laughs> look at this, man. It's starting to look like a glide again. Happy days are here at last. So, 
We've got Immortal T-mounted. Looks to be pretty solid. Hey, by the way, this Foxier uh, lollipop antenna is holding up really good. The uh, the previous Foxier lollipops were kind of awful, and uh, I'm very happy to report that this one is not. I guess I might as well fix the uh, fix the originals. One single little problem that led to all this suffering. Envy of the birds with a twenty dollars super chat. He says 3D printers wave of the future, a hundred percent electronic. <laughs> 100% electronic. Thank you, Envy of the Birds, for your generosity. $20, brother. Awesome. Much appreciated. 100% electronic. I'm fucking stealing the shit out of that. Everything in the world is now that's electronic is now 100% electronic. I'm going to... I need to, like, write that down. That is a good one right there. I'm going to write it right next to erroneous on both accounts. I'll actually be pretty impressed if you guys can pick the, mo the movie out from that quote. I'll give it to you one more time. Erroneous on both accounts. Or no, on both counts. Uh, 100% electronic. The handwriting of an epilepsy patient. Uh, T-Bird is building Tweel. Tweel? Really? Tweel? I don't even know... Tw what's near L on the keyboard? P? Tweep? K? Tweak? M? Tweem? Nothing. There's nothing by the L. Tweel? Tyler? Tweel? That's what you got for me? Tweel? Uh, caught up on chat. Envy of the Bird says, You realize that was a Jackie Treehorn quote, right? Is it really? <laughs> I can remember the scene. It's where uh, the girls are on the trampolines and they're in his uh, amazing mid century mod uh, place. I'm trying to think of what he's. Uh... Oh, Tweel is a real thing? Oh, God. I'm, so, I'm the fucking worst. Um, what is he? He's talking about porn, isn't he? He's talking about internet porn, isn't he? That's my guess. Jackie Treehorn is talking about internet porn, I think, and he calls it 100% electronic. Or is he? Is he? Somebody check me on that. Let me get back to work. Porno! That'll get this stream demonetized. <laughs> Say that word a bunch. Uh, as if it isn't already. So, oh yeah, solder time. Time to solder. Uh, Quasimodo is going for liar, liar, incorrect. Richard also going for liar, liar, incorrect. The blind is the biggest erogenous zone of all. <laughs> Patio Patterson with a, uh... Wow, everybody thinks Liar Liar. No. Not Liar Liar. Uh, the only hint I'll give you is that that's the wrong actor. It's a tough one. I, I'll... Don't Google it. I'll, I'll spoil the surprise. I, I'll be very, very impressed if somebody can figure it out. Erroneous on both counts is the quote. It's not like a well-known quote from the movie either. It, it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, it just really made me laugh. Um, I rewatched this movie somewhat recently, and uh, it it really just uh, tickled my little pickle. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one that's a new one hey what's going on get hot oh, there we go <laughs> oh, shitters come on 
on wire. Don't be a jackass. That's fine. All right, so here's uh, here's the real moment. Is this pad still okay? There, there's actually a chance that this ESC is uh, has shit the bed. There, there's just a chance that it pulled this pad off. I really don't think that it did. It, it really doesn't look like it did. But uh, what you're saying is there's a chance. Uh, erroneous on both counts. Come on. Not Blazing Saddles, not Big Lebowski, not Cousin Vinny. Um, there's, uh, there's no way you guys are going to get it. I'll give you another minute, though. Don't Google it. I actually don't think you'll find it if you Google it. Try to fucking Google it. I don't think you'll find it. Because it's, it's, it's not like a big quote, you know? It's not like a super quotable quote. Ooh, that wire's hot. Oh, that, okay. And we just flung some solder, so let's stop what we're doing and figure out where it went. Here's some of it. And 5X loop. If you don't have one, get one. Very, very important. Down in the bottom of the descriptions of this video uh, is a link to one or any of my videos. I was in a hurry when I built this thing. <laughs> These solder joints on this ESC look like shit. They don't look like shit. They just don't look absolutely perfect in every way. So, you know, to me, that's like shit. <laughs> Alright, we're good, though. Uh, maybe not. What the fuck is that about? Hold on, boys and girls. Wait, no, actually, you might be a little bit judging. Bye, 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 bye. Yo, I cannot stop singing in my head the song that I used in the uh, fireworks edit. I've, like, absolutely fallen in love with that song. Hey! Quad, it looks like uh, Quasimodo got it first. Did you search it? Looks like DQ also got it. Did you search it? Did you guys get it for real? <laughs> I'm pretty impressed if you guys didn't search that because, you know what I mean? Like it's not. It's it's just kind of it's just kind of in there, and it's in like the first bunch of the movie. Uh, I don't even remember what the hell they're talking about. Are they talking about the rules? I think they're talking about the rules of wedding crashing. Mm, no, they're talking about one of the crashes that they did. It was my first Asian! <laughs> that's another... That's another <laughs> of my favorite quotes from that that I've kind of forgotten about. He fucking screams it in the middle of a wedding. Or in the middle of church, maybe. Yo, for the record, Wedding Crashers totally holds up. You guys should, uh, you guys should go rewatch Wedding Crashers. It's fucking really good. Absolutely holds up. Those two are, you know, that little. There was like a little five-year period of comedies that we had that Wedding Crashers was right in the middle of. I don't think we'll ever get that again. I don't think that that we'll ever get comedies of that quality again. That was such. And, like, we got to live through that, man. We got to live through some really, really good shit up in there. Oh, man, all of those. All those Vince Vaughn and, and um, Will Ferrell and, um, my God, so many funny actors uh, in that little time period. Now, nah, so we're fine. This, uh, this pad is completely fine. We're good to go. So let's zap these two motor wires down and we're kind of done with this rig once we slap a couple more things on it. Did you guys cheat? Nobody's copping to it. Just a tip. Just the tip. Just for a little bit. Just to see how it feels. Um... I'm gonna assume that you guys got it for real. 
And uh, that's impressive. Color me impressed. So I need to reflow this one joint. It, it really looks like ass. There's a pretty decent chance that it's gonna bridge when I reflow it. So ready, ready to see a grown man cry? Here we go. Oh, we're good. Man, there's a lot of solder on that joint now though, which I really don't love but I'm just gonna leave it. I am gonna reflow this one right next door though because it looks equally awful. I was not really on my game when I was uh, soldering these race wires up for some reason. Being ultra gentle. Oh, I might get away with this. Oh, I think I got away with it. So these pads on this 20 by, I mean, all the 20 by 20 ESCs, the pads are a lot closer on. Oh yeah, look at the big dick and solder job I did on that one. Uh, there's a chance though that that didn't penetrate. <laughs> oh boy, so many innuendos. It's because they go in your end, yo. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, stab myself in the tweezers. Wake up call. All right, let's try this again. I got to make sure I get good. <laughs> got to make sure. <laughs> got to make sure I get good penetration this time. <laughs> better everything flowed on that one we've even got a shiny joint oh my god it's so beautiful now all right one more <laughs> one more just laps of Common sense and sanity. Coming at you. Here we go. And let this little guy find his little home. <laughs> Jesus. Why does this keep happening? And uh, let's see if he can, uh, let's see if we can get this little guy to not bridge to his friend next door. One false move, though. And there's going to be a real bridge situation brewing. So steady hands, steadier mind. There it goes. The pad just flowed. I'm going to hold it down with the tip of the iron. I'm going to reposition the tweezers, grab, and pull out. <laughs> I need more solder. Oh, that's way too much. Oh, boy. Oh, that's way too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh! Might have gotten away with it. I got a little fellow that tried to come with it, but I can just zip him off like that. And now... I think I got another little... Little protuberance, but all right now that, that's all. I gotta hit this with a little tiny bit more heat just to kind of round that edge off. There we go, just a little tiny bit, just a little bit, just like that, just to kind of flatten this out. That's fine. Doesn't have to look good. I got plenty of pen. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of penetration on that one. So it definitely got the pad nice and hot. Homeboy next door is not looking all that... Oh, no, he's fine. Well... Uh, no! How did 
I not see that? Let's uh, let's just put a little bit of pressure on this guy to. You know what? No. Let's not be an actual crazy person and leave it alone. Cause it's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have to fix it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's f I have to fix it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Soldering iron is off. Can't go back now. Can't turn it back on until tomorrow. Those are the rules. Um... What do I do now? How do you build a quad again? What's, uh, is this thing done? This is done, right? It flies like this, right? Okay, cool. Uh, next up, we're going to, uh, man, I'm not in the mood to finish this right now. I, I just hit this fucking wall of like, don't do it. <laughs> uh, solder iron is off though. That feels good. <laughs> yes. Preparation H does feel good on the whole. What am I gonna... Use. Let's use a red zip tie to hold on this beat to shit capacitor. Thousand UF capacitor because there's plenty of room for it don't really need them that big, but uh, extra capacitance really doesn't hurt anything, and that's about it. Just doesn't hurt anything. And I've got the space, so we gonna do it. Pop it on there, give it a little yank. Store it in the bank. Get it? Yank bank? You guys got it. I trust you. Uh, Coca-Cola facing outwards. That's very important. And I'm going to give it a little tug. Get your mind out of the gutter. And I'm going to get stabbed with the end of a thing in the place. So now we're going to run the uh, crap strap around this little com package here. Oh, that's, that's not great, but uh, it's whatever. Not, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I like to get the, uh, the immortal T antenna inside of this little wrap strap piece here just for as much retention as possible uh, try to bundle as many wires up as you can within reason so that god forbid some shit gets ripped out of the quad uh, hopefully the wires won't get ripped out along with it and we're going to pull the wrap strap over like that and now we've got that stuck on um, we got a vhb on the bottom of the immersion uh, uh, tramp hv and then we've got a Crossfire Nano up on top here, also VHB down to the uh, to the tramp. And that does it. Why is this? Why is this sitting like this? Did I have those nuts on upside down or some shit? Why is this like? sitting down so strangely on here. I really hope I don't have to pull this flight controller off. That would be quite annoying. But I have to. Oh, you rotten son of a bitch. 
Uh, yeah, this is my own fault. I had the nuts on upside down, and I didn't notice it. So I'm going to pull the camera, because the camera is kind of in the way of the flight controller come up and off, coming up and off. And then, I, and then I'm going to remove the nuts and remove the uh, flight controller. Eight-year-olds, dude. Eight-year-olds. Uh, boy. Nut. Nut. Nut and nut. Little tiny one that's going to be a pain in the ass, I'm sure. T Bird says New Glide build, thinking about routing motor wires to the center around the standoffs and then to the motor for protection. Any thoughts? Um, I love that idea in theory. The problem is the motor wires are pretty heavy, so I'll never do it. Um, it's. Believe it or not, that would probably add, like, I'm going to guess 10 grams. Maybe not that. Oh, God. That was odd. Uh, maybe not quite that much, but it's going to add weight. Like, for sure it's going to add weight. Uh, it's a great idea in terms of uh, just getting the motor wires out of the way. Although, the way that I solder up these motor wires, they're not in the way at all. It is difficult to solder these motor wires in the way that I do at that like crazy angle, but it's a good challenge, I could say, to try to encourage you guys to do it that way. And after you've done it a couple times, it's really not that bad. Um, the other thing that's a pain in the ass about soldering the motor wires inward is uh, serviceability goes to hell kinda um, because they're going inward and um, yeah it becomes way harder to, to service the rig so I don't know I've thought about it I've thought about it more than once and in the end between the serviceability and the extra weight I always go nah, not doing that no, 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 no no, I'm not going to do that. I'm too good for that. It's exact, that's, that's the voice in my head, if you guys were ever wondering. That's what it sounds like. No, no. No, we didn't do that. We didn't be depressed. No, we didn't have anxiety today. No, here it comes. Doubt every decision you've ever made now. Ready? Go. You're a bad person. <laughs> the fuck? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so I gotta remove these screws and then reverse the nuts and then we'll be good. But not until then. So there we go. Putting the nut on upside down. Can't believe I didn't notice that. Very annoying. No. <laughs> gotta get it right the first time or you're a failure. <laughs> Don't get it wrong on the live stream. No, no, you're a failure. Make sure everybody thinks that you're cool. It's important. Why does the voice in my head sound like it's got diarrhea? What's, uh... Is that a sign? It's not how the voice in my head sounds, for the record. It, it sounds just like... Well, it sounds like anything. I guess this doesn't sound like anything. I guess it's just words floating. Floating words trying to take me down. But I won't let them. 
All right, we're gonna reverse. I'm gonna reverse my second nut. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> that, that was that was a little weird. That was. Uh, apologies for anybody whose kids were in the room for that one. It's not my fault. Why is it so fucking hot? Oh, I turned the temperature up. Hold on. I gotta turn the temperature back down. It's like 76, I think. Sound like Grand Nagus? What's Grand Nagus, Paul McDonald? Scott FPV is late. Well, you came in at a weird time, Scott. Shit's getting weird tonight. I'm working on the 10,000th glide. Just losing it. Okay. Let's get it. Loosen that. Loosen this. And... Take the little brass collar off. Hey, by the way, guys, these little brass collars that I'm taking off here, these are M2 to M3 converters. Um, yeah, they exist. I, I just assumed that everybody knew about them, but... Uh, that that's a stupid assumption that's an assumption that makes an ass out of you and me huh? 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 I wouldn't do shit. I would just sit around and be like, yeah. I'm called a Ferengi. What are you called? A human? Pfft. <laughs> what the hell? Fucking Ferengis. God. What a creepy group of shitheads. They were shitheads, right? Pretty sure I remember them being jerk-offs. Bunch of pricks. Floating around the universe, trying to mess with people. Wrinkly-headed bastards. Get the fuck out of here with your wrinkly-ass heads. Go back to Ferengi land, you shitters. Bunch of jerks trying to... Trying to come at Jean-Luc. Who the fuck do you think you are coming at Jean-Luc Picard? You out of your goddamn mind? What do you think this is? Who do you think you're fucking with? Him and Will are gonna just... <laughs> blast you back to 2020. You're gonna get COVID and shit. It's gonna be a mess. Hating life. Okay. Here we go. Flipping my last nut. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it again. I can't do it again. It's too gross the first time. I'll I'll spare you guys. a while ago. There we go. Now we're cooking right-handed tightening. That's what we need. Okay! Our nuts have been flip-flopped. <laughs> and now I will paint your silver pants blue. One collar, two collars, three collars, four. They're all tight. We're good to go. Uh, I gotta go turn the temperature down or I'm gonna melt. Be back. All right. 
72 will be a little bit better. Uh, Scott FPV noticed. Uh, Metaverton says, funnily enough, my therapist suggested almost the exact thing. Repeating the things your inner voice says in a silly way is supposed to make them seem as ridiculous as they are. That's a really interesting uh, uh, thing to do. I really like that, actually. Uh, so now we going to put this flight controller back down. And then do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight. Get down tonight. And then we're going to do another little dance, make a little bit more love, and for a second time, second time, we're going to get down tonight. We're going to get down tonight. Hey, look, now the flight controller sits where I want it to sit. How amazing! These grommets are a little... A little tight! It's gonna be fine, though. Oh, we get to play with our nuts again! With the nut grabber! What are you guys doing? Who's building? Tell me what you're building. Or I will put a hex on it, and it'll never... Well, if I put a hex on it, then, you know... It would have beta flight on it. Hey! hey, hey! Uh, uh, funny... Funny inside joke. Because... The flight firmwares are dot hexes. Uh, uh. A lot of voices tonight. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just one of those nights, man. Wednesday nights are. Uh, Wednesday is a, is a tough day for me. I have uh, talk therapy on Wednesday, and the deeper that I get into it, um, the harder that Sean kind of pushes me, and we are getting into some shit lately, um, really figuring some good stuff out, uh, but yeah, funny thing about therapy... It doesn't get any easier, but that's a good... I mean, it can get easier if, if you give up and, and you stop doing the work, but if you want to keep going, uh, it gets a lot harder. It just, it just gets harder and harder and harder. And, um, but it is work well, well, well worth doing. Um, because it's your psyche. Like, it's the only thing that matters in the whole world. Right? Like, your job doesn't matter. Your, the shit that you own doesn't matter. Nothing matters other than your mental health. It is the only thing. If you're fucking homeless on the street, but your mental health is a 10 out of 10, guess what? You're loving life. And, like... Anybody who wants to, like, yeah, it just doesn't, like, nothing else matters. It's all you've got. It's all we have at the end of the day. It's all we've got. So watch Healthy Gamer. Let Dr. K help you. Go to therapy if, if you can afford it. Do things every day to improve your mental health because it's all, it, it's it. That's it. That's all we got. It's all we've got. It doesn't matter if the whole world thinks you're a shithead or the greatest person ever. None of it matters. If your mental health isn't there, I mean, what do you got? 
And for some of us, it's not so easy. Like, some people were dealt the blue pill, and they can be totally happy in a land of ignorance and bliss. And that's pretty awesome. And there are times where I'm very jealous of that. But, you know, we didn't... Like, Neo got the choice. We didn't get the choice. So do the work. Do it. It's worth it. It really is. Good things will start happening. They really will. You'll meet people that really understand you. It's, uh, it's pretty dope. You can do it. Won't be easy, but when was the last time that anything in your life that was easy was really good? I'm still waiting. I've been here 40 years, and I'm still waiting for that to happen. So do the hard work. Fuck it. And then if it doesn't work, then it still doesn't work. And whatever. You're, but at least you tried. But it more than likely will work. So just do it. Do one thing. And then do one more thing. And then do, like, one more thing. And by that point, you'll, like, probably be like, oh. But if you aren't, do another thing. Anything. Watch an episode of Dr. K take 10 minutes to meditate. I've shown you guys how to do it. Dr. K will show you how to do it as well. Or just look it up. Just, just go do something. Do something for you. It's some, it's, it, as, as men, we don't take care of ourselves. And it's real bad. It's really, really bad. It's like this self-fulfilling prophecy of suffering to, to not take care of yourself. And, uh, yeah, I didn't for a long time. So I don't blame you, even for a second. But, um, don't, uh, you know, don't not do something. Just do something. Treat yourself, motherfuckers! <laughs> Treat yourself to 15 to 20 minutes of sitting quietly, practicing letting thoughts go. Thoughts will come up, let them go. If you don't practice letting things go, I know this is going to be a shocker, but you're not going to be good at letting things go. So practice. Practice letting things go. That is the practice of meditation. I have some videos over on my Instagram if you want to join along with me. One of them is kind of funny. <clears throat> Another one is the, the more recent one is real. Just do something. You're going to like it. Can't promise you that, but pretty sure you're going to like it. And if you're not good on it, the first if you're not good at it the first time you do it, who gives a shit? When were you ever good at something the first time you did it? Never. Never, 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 never. You have to do things over and over again to get good at them. Not to mention that there's kind of no getting good at meditation. You just do it. That's why it's called a practice. It's the whole thing. You just practice it. There is no getting good. You got to drop that expectation. You're not going to, like, find fucking enlightenment the first or second time you meditate. You might never, and that's fine. You've given yourself 10, 15, 20 minutes to just relax. That in itself is a big deal. And during that time, you've practiced letting things go. It's the only chance you've got all day to practice just letting shit go. And then maybe the next time that asshole cuts you off in traffic, instead of hanging your head out the window and screaming, hey, you goddamn motherfucker, I'm going to murder you, you'll just take a deep breath and go, what a weirdo. And then it'll be cool. Blood pressure will be down. 
Everything will be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, I swear to God. The hardest part <clears throat> of building quads right here, getting the backing paper off of the uh, VHB. Frank Nicholas had an interesting suggestion. He said, uh, if I cut the VHB with, um, with an X-Acto knife, it'll be easier to pull the backing off. Which I was thinking about doing just now, but the, uh, it's going to be tricky to get the, um, man, I've got like no fingernails right now. Uh, it's going to be tricky to get the roll down onto the table. I'm going to try it in a minute though. So there was our, uh, that was the first attempt there, doing it the way I normally do it. Oh, come on, motor, really? Yeah. You're going to come at me like that, motor? Hold on, before I stick the VHB, i got to get this second motor screw in here. <clears throat> hey, there's some shit going on in the chat. I was wondering when I'd be able to just stop ranting and raving like a madman and answer some actual FPV-related stuff. Come on, man, get, get, what, what, can you just, what is going on with this TPU foot? It's like it, ah, ah, ooh, 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 I'm so angry, so angry. Get in there. TPU foot, come on. Be fucking cool, man. Why you gotta be a jerk? Oh, I'm gonna stab myself. I'm gonna call it right now. Stabbing self in three, two, one. Nah, everything's fine. I think I just got it too. Come on, foam foot. Not foam, TPU foot. Come on. Be cool. Be cool. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, Dan Richmond says, uh, thought my gyro went bad because bad vibes on pitch. So I swapped swap flight controller. Typically bad gyros won't create vibes like that. Uh, <clears throat> they'll create like ticking or twitches. Uh, so I swapped flight controller, but still happening. I guess frame is broken somewhere. Uh, I can't find, so I'm gonna swap frames when I stop being lazy. Um, yeah, bad gy that's not a bad gyro behavior, typically. Uh, bad gyro behaviors are usually surrounding, like, uh, you'll do, like, a roll in one direction, and it'll kind of, like, wig out. It's very descriptive there. That really helps, I'm sure. Wigs out. What, what, yeah, I'm sure that's immediately obvious what that means. You guys know exactly what wigging out looks like in the goggles, I'm sure. Uh, it'll... I mean, the, 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 big, the big dead giveaway is that it'll, it'll have issues on one axis, but not the other. Only on yaw, only on pitch, only on roll. Um, that's really the dead giveaway of a, of a gyro that's failing. Uh, Mid-throttle vibes are, are not commonly a, uh, a failing gyro. Um... Mid-throttle vibes are typically going to be a tune problem, or it could absolutely be a, a, uh, a frame issue. It could certainly be that. <sighs> Quadzimoto says, 3-inch Apex with 1505 Mambas. No real question, but I guess maybe that's what he's working on? Yeah, that's probably when I said who's working on what. Uh, Frank says... What is that? Is that a quote? Sex I really easy for me and it is really good. I think Frank Nicholas had a stroke. Uh, Luca says, Gemfan is on live stream on Instagram. Yeah, every Wednesday night I overlap with Gemfan. I feel bad. Uh, Fairly Functional says, I take care of myself now, not the last 30 years though. Yeah, me too, Fairly Functional. 
Except for me, it was 40. Jackalope says, you're going to love these nuts, baby! Frank Douglas says, you don't have to get the roll of VHB on the table. Cut the roll in the air, either lightly across while still on the roll, or... I can't figure it out. Uh, I'm confused. I think he's saying do this, maybe? Oh boy, this is creepy. I try to, since I don't have health insurance, I try to like, not use knives all that often. Man, that seems fucking creepy. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the struggle method because exacto knives creep me out as it is. And that was not cutting through that wax paper. I'm sure I could just push harder and mash through it, but uh, in the interest of no hospital visits, I think I'm willing to uh, suffer. Plus, you probably, you guys probably like watching me struggle. That's uh, that's a pretty common thing. <laughs> Jimmy Broadbent talks about it a lot. How like his streams where he struggles are the ones that get the most views. And it's just funny. It's just funny to watch somebody else struggle. Because it's a very human kind of thing, you know? So, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to struggle for you guys. Mm, maybe that's clean enough. Probably not. And it's not like there's anything in this hobby that's not a struggle, right? So, might as well struggle with everything. Share in the experience of just pain and suffering. <laughs> might as well share all that pain with each other. Yo, these arm ends are fucked. I should really swap these, uh, I should really swap this arm out here. But I'm not gonna, because I'm too deep in the process. Plus, it's on the back, and I don't typically hit the uh, the rear all that hard. <laughs> all right. Don't typically hit the rear all that hard. Ciotti FPV, 2021. Words to live by. Ooh, this stator is wrecked. This stator is in bad shape. Holy cow. Let's reuse it. It's fine. I am not doing a millisecond of extra work other than exactly what I need to. And quite honestly... The way that this stator is fucked up does not matter. It's gonna be fine. That got nice and tight. Forgot one. Why did I have it on there? Oh, because this arm was on the uh, was on the front. That's why. Alright, almost there. I just burped, guys. I burped. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Clean this arm a little bit here. Another little piece of very high bond. I can't believe that's what it actually stands for. Just gave up, huh, guys? Just, just couldn't, couldn't bother to think of an actual name for the product. One of the engineers was like, "I just fucking call it, just use the acronym that what we've been calling it. It's, it's fine. They'll think it's nobody'll know. 
I don't think it's fancy. Ooh, this is a, that was a good one. That was a quick one. Oh, maybe after 7,000 times, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm not. There's no way. There's no way. The next one will be, will take forever. Can I just clean that? It's so dirty for it. Okay, and down. I wonder if these race wires work. They look really beaten. They've really lived a hard life. This rig, this quad has lived quite, ow! Quite the hard life. And uh, it it's just, it's like, nah, man. Hit me again, Ike. And put some stank on it. Uh, that's a liar. There's your liar, liar quote for the night. Okay. Last one. What time is it? 10.21. We are over. Wow. Uh... I'm going to do a Patreon-only stream after this uh, and do some editing of the uh, fireworks edit video. So if you're not a patron and you want to see some editing, and uh, I usually kind of like talk through what I'm doing and, and give advice and, and stuff like that, uh, head on over to CIDFPB.com. The very top button is Patreon. It's going to cost you three whole dollars to join. I know that's a lot to ask, but I also know that you can spare $3 for your buddy Ciotti FPV to be able to keep pursuing his absolute and utter passion on this planet that is FPV uh, full-time. And uh, I promise it'll be worth your $3. I really, truly do mean that. Um, ask anybody in chat whether or not it's worth $3 to be a, a patron, and they will tell you. That, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the first time that I post a clearance deal for something that you want and you save 20 bucks, you know, that just paid for a bunch of months of Patreon. So go do it. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be a big year. There's going to be a lot of shit going down this year. And you're going to want to be a part of it. You're going to want to be able to say that, uh, oh, I was watching that gankly, gang, gankly. I was watching that gangly bastard since the beginning of 2021. People are going to be like, oh, shit, can I get your autograph? Fuck him. <laughs> want to be famous? Join my Patreon. <laughs> Want to be e-famous as fuck? Join my Patreon. I guarantee it'll come true for you. You'll be the biggest swinging dick on YouTube in no time. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. 10.9% APR only applies to vehicles bought today within the next 20 minutes from a guy named Harold. Hey, we've got a basher quad again. Wait, what happened here? You came off already, you prick? What? How are you gonna? That's very low bond. That's not very high bond, you son of a bitch. Stay on there. What? How dare you? Alcohol time, not the fun kind. The isopropyl kind. Okay. I've learned my lesson. I'm going to do this on a rag this time. I'm going to do it while on the rag. Jesus. That was uncalled for. Hey, uh, look at that. It's clear again. Whoop. Crazy how that works. Grass stains, stains come right off with rubbing alcohol. 
I'm gonna clean my clothes with this shit. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna dip my balls in it. What's that from? I actually don't... I don't know what that's from. Ooh, what is that from? I don't know, I guess it's I want to. I think that's the quote. I want... No, I think it's I'm gonna. Ooh, what is that from? I hope it's not from Mallrats. I'm not a big fan of Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith can go fuck himself. Actually, Kevin Smith is okay. That other asshole. He could die in a fire, as far as I'm concerned. Jay. Ugh. I'm gonna light you on fire, Jay. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? We got clean race wires now. Oh my god, the chat is all orange. What the hell? Jackalope likes the struggle. He tunes in for the struggle. See, I told you guys. Uh, Tuner Sexy says, hey, how you been doing? I'm good, brother. Frank Nicholas says, cutting on the roll, your blade is dull. It is indeed. Indeed. Joan Drop says, I'm building a Flywoo Ant V2. <laughs> Three inch. I hit the ant hard on that one. Uh, Zing 1408. Ooh, good luck with those. You're going to need it. Uh, Akon AK 3255 amp, that's good. Uh, Mamba F405, that's good. Rush Tank Mini, that's good. Run Camp Phoenix 2, that's good. Those motors are going to be tough, drone drops. Um, 1408s are uh, a motor size that really only makes sense on like full on hardcore 3 inch race rigs. Um, hopefully that's what you're building. Bob Noxious says, Life takes maximum effort for me. Yeah, not just you, Bob. Not just you, man. God damn it. Jackalope says, have you watched Division Three Football's Finest with Andy Dick yet? You will love it, dude. Really, I did, Jackalope. I took your uh, uh, your recommendation from like a month or two ago, and I downloaded it, and I watched it here on the computer. It was fucking great. Um, really, really good. Can't believe I... I can't believe I hadn't seen that before. <laughs> Frank says, you slice with a sharp knife, don't saw. Kaiser Soze is in the house. What are those large, durable nuts you use on the bottom? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to do that joke. Uh, they're just uh, socket-headed. Um, they're just socket-headed bolts. Oh! Oh! Ah! Yeah. They're just socket-headed screws. Whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm ordering something on a website, I'll make it a point to go to their hardware section and just look for, like, random hardware that I might need. Um, it also makes me feel better about buying, like, just one thing off of a website. You know, if I get a bunch of hardware, it's like, oh, I bought eight things. It was worth it. So, yeah, socket head. There's another name for it. Captive head, maybe? I don't know. Now that you know what they look like, you'll be able to find them. Uh, Frank is still talking about VHB. He says, if you want to cut uh, cutting mat backing side down, slice off the length you need, don't saw. I'm just going to stick with the with the flush cutters. It's quick, and it works. Um, T-Bird says, or when I win a Tango 2, paid for a few months. Yeah, that's true. As soon as you win something, it pays for like 10 years. Um, oh god, YouTube, stop doing the thing. Frank Nicholas dropping the link to something. It's a YouTube video, I'm curious. Hopefully it's not vulgar. Uh, hopefully it, it, there's no naughty words in it. I, my name is Karen, and I can't have naughty words. Naughty words, curse words, or the devil's. Uh, that link doesn't work, Frank. I don't know. Uh, when you guys post links, sometimes they don't work. Uh, it confuses the shit out of me. 
Now it's working. Nope, nope, not working. There's just a picture of a dog ripping a plug out of the wall. Uh, T-Bird says, Step Brothers, balls? I forget what we were talking about at the time. That kind of... Yeah. <laughs> DQ says, The State, 90s show. Kevin Smith says, Thank you, thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> There's somebody named Kevin Smith in the chat. <laughs> what are the fucking odds? Jack Lope says, uh, thought I recognized that pain and suffering. I, I'm a product of pain and suffering. I'd be happy to pass those savings along to you. There was a lot of good lines from that movie. I, I actually saved it. I'm going to watch it again. Uh, Mikhail Hagerstrom's in the house. He says, what's that orange driver situation you're using? All mine turn at the handle and I'm sick of it. Uh, the orange drivers are the most expensive drivers, but they're really, really nice. Uh, they're made by a company called MIP, M-I-P, and uh, they make RC car drivers, and they're just really nice drivers. Logitech, you're doing a great job. You're really doing a great job right now, Logitech. Keep it up. Keep up the good work, you steaming pile of shit. I'm going to stab you in the heart. MIP, MIP. Here it is. Patience, guys. You just gotta be patient. MIPonline.com. MIP. The, uh, the heads on these things are like precision manufactured to the point where these drivers, even though they're stupidly expensive, uh, on screw heads where every other driver has a little bit of rotation, you put the MIP driver in there, and it's just as tight as a drum. See that? I behaved for once. Uh, Frank Miglis says bolts, socket head, cap screws. There we go. Uh, links work here. Ball dipping comment. Turn drop says, I'm actually at the point of soldering the motors. Uh, I also have some new T motor F20. Would that be a better choice? I forget what the F20s are. Let me see. Uh, one of the easiest ways drone drops to um, pick motors, especially on a micro, is to take the motor by hand. So the F20s are a 1408 as well, I thought they were. Take the motor by hand, we'll take both motors that you have different options, and turn it by hand. Whichever one spins smoother, that's the motor that you want to run. Micros have a really big problem with motors that are coggy or notchy. So when you spin the motor by hand, you'll feel like the motor bell will turn and then it'll fall into like what feels like a cog or a notch. What it actually is, is it's the magnets on the bell interacting with the magnets on the stator, or the, the iron on the stator. Um, but yeah, one of the best ways for micros to choose motors, if you have more than one choice, is just to sit here and spin the two of them and usually you'll feel a pretty a pretty obvious difference um the smoother motors are always going to fly better and tune better and give you uh less jello in your footage mr z says went all in on the emacs 1306 4000s nab two more these ones are way more notchy have you gotten the new ones recently a bit concerned no oh are you fucking kidding me I'm done. That's it. That's the last straw.
諦めんなよ諦めんなお前どうしてそこでやめるんだそこでもう少し頑張ってみろよダメダメダメダメ諦めたら周りのこと思うよ応援してる人たちのこと思ってるなってなんかもうちょっとのところなんだろ俺だってこのマイナス10のところしじみが取れると頑張ってんだよ絶対やってみろ必ず目標達成できるだからこそイエローピザ That clam man, what a fucking class act. Could you guys not see me walking by? I fucking crawled on the ground like four times. Ah,、oh, you can barely see me! Son of a bitch. That was a lot of work, yo. I'm a f- full fucking lot out of breath. Jesus. Jason. <laughs> Jason Crabtree says, Same experience with the Flywheel motors that we were talking about. I have the version 2 and they were notchy AF, even though the ones I saw you test on your channel look super smooth. Yeah, Jason, I tried to warn as many people as I could about those Flywheel motors.、Um, these motor manufacturers should be tied down and beaten for doing that shit, for real. They really should just be tied down and pink bellied back to the 1900s.、Uh, it is just. Despicable to, to do that and to not make it like very well known that they're doing that. Jackalope FPV with a $10 super chat. He says, Folks, Siati needs $1,900 for his computer. Let's get him there tonight. Thank you, Jackalope. Man, I'm very out of breath. I was crawling on the ground so that I could just walk by in the same direction every time. That's hard to do with my hand. There it is. So I could walk by in this direction over and over again, then I would go over there. I would go over there. Jackalope, thank you, brother. I'm putting it on the thing. Whew. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Michael Hill says, when I started watching your channel tonight, When, when I started watching your channel, I thought I had clicked a button or something the first time I saw the Never Give Up Clam Guy. <laughs> That's true, because it does like full blown take over the channel. It's like a commercial, it's like a mid roll. <laughs> Clam Man is my mid roll commercial. <laughs>、um, B Man says,、uh, and any you purchase will be replaced by your vendor for free. Yeah, that too. Jesus.、Uh, oh, 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 talking about Gem Fan. No, I thought we were still talking about the motors.、Um, B Man says, Gem fans live on Instagram talking about the F3, F4 prop recall. F3s and 4s will be buy one, get one free in the month of August.、Um, and yeah, they will, will be replaced.、Um, are there a lot of people in here? Oh no, I've been, I've been fucking around. Up- What? What happened? Why'd that happen? Why are there 171 people in here? I gotta do something interesting.、Uh, hi, new people! I'm sure they're all bots. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. We haven't gotten botted in a while.、Um, unless they are real people. Hey, the. the. the.、Uh, the. 76543. The 131 people that just joined, if you're real, and they're all leaving already. If you're real, post something in the,、uh, in the chat and、uh, I'll do something stupid. <laughs> so that you'll stay. <laughs> A backflip. Oh god, man dies live on stream.、Um, I'm fine when the bots come. I just, that's just,、uh, it's just free, not publicity, but it looks good for the channel. The channel. It looks good for the Chanel West Coast. Oh, that girl. That, vo- that laugh. Oh, boy. That laugh is rough. <laughs>、uh, okay. So. I think I'm just slamming the top plate on and. And we're good to go, but I'm giving it a little. 
look over here. See if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me. No, I think we're all set. I am gonna put this little guy through there just so that there's a little bit of retention on them. Everything looks good. Let's top plate it and uh, we're gonna move on. Just turn top plate into a verb, that was weird. To Hotomi FPV with five dollar forty or five pound forty nine pent uh, super chat, he says Mac Fund or the Cocaine and Hookers. Your choice. Well, in this particular case, we're gonna go to the Mac Fund. But you never know, man. You never know in the future. You never know what the future may hold. Maybe I'll get into hard drugs. No plans, but you just never know. Just never rule anything else out, you know? They might be like the cure for, uh, for uh, you know, like butt rashes. And then like, I don't know, maybe I'll develop a rash on my ass. Uh, okay. So I'm going to be lazy and just guess that it's like seven-ish, so we're just gonna go 22. 16, 22, look at this go. Thank you to a two. Thanks for the money, let me massacre your name now. Tuho Tomi, there we go. Thank you, brother, very generous. Frank says, I'm real, do something stupid. Uh, Caleb says, how much money do you need to get the iMac because it looks like OED is $12.99? Uh, so Caleb, it was, uh, I very stupidly just like saw an ad for the damn thing and the ad was like, ah, $12.99. I'm like, oh, great. And, um, and, uh, so I put that number up there and then we were getting to that number and Frank Nicholas was like, uh, you're dumb. It's going to be like 1900 because you got to like put Ram in and, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm used to like tower. He obviously didn't say you're dumb. Um, I'm used to towers where you install your own RAM, you install your own hard drives, all that shit. Uh, but a lot of the new computers are not like that. They hard, uh, they hard wire, hard solder, that stuff. So if you don't get it from the factory, it's a total nightmare. Um, so yeah, in reality, uh, the computer will cost nineteen hundred dollars. Uh, at the moment, I'm waiting on ordering it because. I'm hearing nothing but nightmares uh, with the way that OBS interacts with the new M1 chip. Uh, so, yeah, it wouldn't really make much sense to get that computer because it would make this stream way worse. And that's the main use of that computer is streaming. Um, it's going to just be a monster for editing, though. I cannot wait uh, to edit on that machine. Um, or whatever machine, to be honest. Maybe, I don't know. Figure something out. Figure something out. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I would hope, I hope that OBS is, is working on it. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're working on it. Uh, top plate is on. Let's take the red session mount off of this other rig where it doesn't belong. And we'll put it on this one where it does belong. Jason Crabtree says, Apple does that. As a matter of fact, if they had their way, uh, we wouldn't be repairing any of our own shit. Uh, you need to send your quad back to a manufacturer. I mean, it's not just Apple that does it, I'm sure. I'm sure there's plenty of PC manufacturers that do it as well. Um, and, you know, I mean, on, on the flip side of that, it's uh, it's less failure points, so it's not all bad. And like, you're gonna upgrade you're gonna upgrade the RAM anyway, so I don't know. It's fine as long as I don't have to use a PC. Nothing else matters. Chomper FPV with a 1999 super chat. He says, "Add this to the mother funkin' Mac fund." Now I want a Mac. Now I want Mac and cheese. Next time you, uh, next time you're in Atlanta, 
Chomper, I will make you some mac and cheese. You just gotta remind me, because there's no in hell I'll remember. Thank you, brother. Very kind of you, Chomper. We are going to 1642. Hey! It's close to the weed number. There. I'll hook you guys up. Point zero. There you go, you stoner bastards. Uh, okay. So this is for him. I got a purple one for that guy over there. Yeah. Damn, Chomper. Much appreciated, brother. Oh, is this top plate breaking? A little bit. A little bit. Just the top layer, though. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about that. The top layer doesn't provide any strength. It really does, for the record. Um, the top, the top and bottom layers absolutely provide strength. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of inner layers that also provide strength. But the, this whole idea that like the top and bottom layers don't provide any strength is absolutely asinine. Um, they don't provide all the strength, but. Every bit helps. As a matter of fact, when the when the the top and bottom layers uh, break, and I look, and the inner layers are all still fine, that arm or top plate or bottom plate does not last much longer. Like, so it kind of seems like the top plate provides a good amount of strength, with which makes sense. Uh, the top and bottom, I should say. Which makes sense because they're what prevent the, um, they're kind of like putting the lid on the shoebox in, in a weird way. Like, they're, they're the last line of defense when, when the thing bends um, to sort of compress. And I guess you could argue that, like, as soon as it, uh, I need to get retention on these motor wires. Uh, I guess you could argue that, uh, uh, Man, I don't feel like continuing with this line of reasoning. Just, just pretend like I said something smart, and I'm just gonna move on to the next insane, ranting, raving, maniacal scream fest. What's the foam foot situation on this thing? This one looks kind of janky. This one's a mess. This one's okay. No, this one's actually fine. Uh, they're all squashed down. This one's completely gone. Uh, big on that one. I'll keep going. Michael Hill with a 1999 Super Chad! Should I, call, should I call him Super Chads from now on? Is there anybody named Chad in the chat? Super Chad! Thank you, Michael Hill. That is super generous. Uh, T-Bird says, Boss just showed up. WTF. Hopefully T-Bird still has a job. <laughs> Not really a funny thing to joke about. Uh, but he's a really smart, likable guy. I'm sure he would uh, find an even better job if uh, he needed to. 
once I get all this adhesive off of here, I'm going to update the MAC fund. Okay, that's looking good. Man, it's getting late. Maybe, fair warning, I might not do a after stream. Michael Hill, thanks again, brother. Very, very generous of you. Gear fund goes to 62. 1662. Oh, and now I can take out the point zero. Hello. Friggin' Luya. Oh, now I gotta move this. What? Why is this space so weird? What? What's happening here? Is that better? That's better. That's Motor Ref FPV with 1369. 1369. How's that gonna work out? Three, five. Wait, no. I'm gonna round that up to 14, whether you like it or not. Four, six. Right? Uh, seven? Thank you, Motor Ref. Very kind of you. He says, uh, hey, you guys giving away money without me? For your one year old Mac Fun, bring out the calculator. Come on, someone even out the numbers. Um, we almost landed on 1666. That would have been devilish. It's been a long time since I made that awful of a dad joke. I'm not even going to apologize, though. That's how... It was so bad it became good. Is that a thing? It is now. What? Why do I have to... Uh, these are... This one's not stuck on very well. Okay, so that doesn't make me feel too bad about ripping these off. Yo, I am charging through this uh, Immersion RC landing pad foam. I ordered all of it that they had in stock. I have a feeling that I'm going to be out of it soon, which is going to be a very sad day. Where the hell is it? Is it all gone already? No! Please don't be gone. It can't be. What the hell? Where is it? Why do I move things? Why do I always see it? Why do I put things in a place and, the, and then there'll be a day where I'm like, that's a stupid place to put that. I'll, I know what makes more sense. I'll put it over here and then it's gone until, until you move out and then you find it and you're like, oh good, I'm not even into this hobby anymore. Uh, well, I gotta rip this one off too. If, if, because it's not going to be the right thickness and it's going to wobble and just drive me nuts. So we're going to re-foam this thing. This is the worst rig to put this Immersion RC foam on because this is the rig that I break arms on more often. And every time you break an arm, you lose the, uh, the foam fetus. The foam foot, rather. The foam fetuses. That's the plural of foot, right? Fetus? Fetuses, feed eye. Oh no, that's a new. That's a. We talk some shit up in here. For no reason either. Man scrapes off adhesive. For ten hours. while saying words that previously made no sense together, and still, for the most part, don't. What is... Why do these keep popping off? Stop it. Stop. Stop. Popping off. Pop one off! It's called a desk pop. Let's go ahead and pop one off. Come on. Uh, we're going to go... One and a half. One centimeter and a half. Come on, just cut a little bit. There we go. Alright. And... Nah! Ooh! God, that got really ugly. Nah! Okay. One and a half. 
One more time. Where'd it go? One and a half. And two. One more. Oh, wow. Almost all the way through this one. Cut it right in half and... Bob is your uncle. Uncle Kunkel. I used to have this uh, buddy at uh, Disc Makers when I worked there. His last name was Kunkel. And the day that he told me that his nephews call him Uncle Kunkel is the most recent time in my life uh, the, that I pissed my pants. I just peed right in him. Like I was doing it on purpose. Just pssst. Still going. Hold on, Matt. Pssst. Hold on. Uncle Kunkel. The name of my next sex tape. <laughs> oh, boy. What a weird live stream tonight. Wow. We, I mean, this shit went off the rails early, and it stayed off the rails. The podcast version of this one over on the Patreon page, which you can get access to for only $3 a fucking month, is going to be a good one. Hey, scroll down and uh, click some thumbs, leave a comment, do whatever the hell you want. It helps with the algorithm. Or not. That's fine, too. You do you. Frank says, throw that X-Acto blade in the trash. If I did that, I would have no X-Acto blades. So that would be no good. Not that dull. I mean, it still works. I've learned that not all things have to work well. They just have to work. And God damn it, that X-Acto knife still works. Is the only one that I've got. Because I lost all the other ones in a, an event that happened this year. So, fuck you, world! Uh, although, shit is turning around like you guys wouldn't believe lately. So there's that. There's that! Which is something to smile real fucking big about. I filled up my little tiny garbage can already. Jeez. All right, we are foamed up, people. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I put that one on in the wrong spot. Now it's good. Now we're foamed up. Explosive Fruits is here! What's the best way to mount a flight controller and ESC stack? The Apex uses these hex nuts to lock down the stack screws. Should I replace them uh, for standoffs or use the hex nuts? Um, explosive fruits, in my opinion, uh, the best way is to run hardware up from the bottom, uh, just screws up from the bottom, and then uh, metal spacers if you need them on those screws. Pyrodrone sells some really nice metal spacers and some really pretty colors. Uh, pretty, pretty princess. And uh, yeah, that's my preferred way of doing it. Uh, the, the Apex is, I mean, the, the Apex is just st like steel's frame, right? Like, it just like, hey, I want you guys to make me the exact frame that I want, right? Which is a great thing. Um, 
but he flies Flightwino, so it's kind of specifically made for Flightwino. So for for Beta Flight, I would not, uh, I would probably not. I don't know what mounting setup they've got, but it's probably not um, ideal for. Uh, well, no, I guess that's not true because it, I guess it was kind of made for the. Um, uh, it wasn't made for individual ESCs. It was made for uh, a foreign one. So maybe what they include is fine. But yeah, I, I don't think there's any real magic to it. Just screws up through the bottom and then. Uh, some spacers, or I mean, you can just use nuts for spacers. That's fine. You can use nylock nuts for spacers. Oh man, you guys have been on the wrong fucking camera this whole time. Uh, you can use these little nylocks as uh, as spacers. They work totally fine. Or you can use plastic nuts for spacers. Whatever. It's all the same. Uh, I need to get retention on these motor screws. Finally. And I'm gonna do that, I think, with the wrappest of straps. Uh, let's see how many little squares we need. Uh, no, motor ref, I, I just took them down. I wasn't, uh, the, the batteries don't last very long in them. And if I'm not gonna turn them on, it's kind of silly to have them up. So I just pulled them down. They were throwing like a weird shadow on the wall too that was kind of bugging me. I don't know. You guys have no idea the depths of the thought that goes into stupid shit like that with me. Okay. So once I pull this guy through, I probably want it to be there. So... Chop and... Shop. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought it was seven. Uh, let me throw it on just to confirm. So props out. So I want this in the front. Okay. Chomp it. Ah, chomp it. Hey, Chomper, if you're still in here, I put your, uh, I put your magnet on my, uh... Oh, fuck off! Are you kidding me? That just ripped? No, it didn't. It's good. It's fine. Uh, I put your magnet on my, uh, on my dry erase board the other day. Uh, and so, yeah, now it's up there. That's it. That's the whole story. Nothing... Nothing all that exciting. Just like me. Mm. What did I say? Seven? Seven, uh, seven holes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And almost dropped the pliers. So I'm going to have to finish that uh, fireworks edit tomorrow. That's good. I'll get up in the morning tomorrow. I'm going to go do this thing at the technical school, which is going to be amazing. Got a little tour of the place. That'll be cool. Uh, I'll come home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll get the, uh, the rest of the editing knocked out on that fireworks edit. I'll get it posted. Make a thumbnail. Get it posted. Uh, and then Patrick's coming over tomorrow night, which is going to be a blast. Maybe we'll go do some uh, some night flying with the starlight and the moonlight props. Uh, oh, I have an edit. I have an, another edit that I need to post of us uh, of me orbiting him, and he's on the uh, iPhone on slow motion mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and it's the starlight props, and it's really cool. It's, like, way cooler than it should be. 
I was gonna like cut the edit down to make it shorter, but it's just so fascinating to kind of watch the starlight props. So I I started orbiting him uh, at like low throttle, and then I gradually increased the throttle, so the quad stands up more and more and more, and the propellers change RPM. So the um, there's this really fun interaction with the frame rate and however the hell fast the um, the uh, the LEDs are cycling and it it's yeah it's really cool you guys are gonna dig it so look out for that I actually meant that meant to get that up this week uh, but I didn't because I still have to make the thumbnail for it. Sometimes the thumbnails like completely befuddle me. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> I like when people bail on statements and say like, blah, 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 or not. And it's like, oh, well then why'd you even open your mouth? Man, the first time, th th these are, these are really tight the first time. It's really tight the first time, guys. After that, it gets easier. But the first time, man, it is tight. Almost too tight. Almost, but not quite. Uh, put the kids to bed. Siati's coming on. It's going to be a real shit show. There's going to be cursing, dick jokes, fart jokes, sexual innuendos. A real smorgasbord of sexual delights. Who's, who has begun or is currently watching Brockmire because of my recommendation? I swear to God, if you guys don't stop watching Brockmire and quoting that show... I'm going to get upset and just bitch and moan more like I am right now. It's worth paying for a month of Hulu to then go watch Brockmire. I'm not even kidding. It's that good. You're going to love it. If you love me, you're going to love Hank Azaria. If you hate me, you're still going to love Hank Azaria. So go now. Get you some Hulu. Treat yourself. And uh, start watching Brockmire. You're going to love it. It's really, really good. Amanda Peet's in there, too. And she's just as cute as a button. <laughs> Although she's getting old. She's getting a little older. She still looks great, though. Just terrific. <laughs> Just a smorgasbord of carnal delights. That's it. It's done. It needs propellers. I'll do that at the field. Uh, I'm just going to assume that everything is fine. And put it on my bag. I'm not going to test anything. I'm just going to go for... Oh, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to plug it into Betaflight and uh, turn up the PID sum a little bit. I'm going to start creeping the PID sum up a little bit to give uh, the PID loop a little bit more access to, uh, to horsepower. So let's do that. And I, and I want to do it like, quad, like one by one with these rigs uh, because then... I, I, I initially did that out of laziness, but then what I eventually realized is that by doing that, I show it on a bunch of streams over and over and over again, and that's really good. So we did this the other day. Uh, by default, the PID loop only has access to 40 and 50% of the uh, total amount of power that the motors put out and 
to increase that amount, type in, come in here and type get PID sum, and then it's gonna show you where it's currently at. So at the moment, yaw only gets 40%, pitch and roll only get 50%. So we're just gonna just increase them a little bit. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna type set paste and instead of 500 we're gonna go up to 600 and I'm just gonna inch these up if, if I move these all the way up to a hundred percent I would have to completely retune my rigs um, so I'm just gonna inch these up 10 percent at a time until um, until I have problems basically in, until uh, I'm interested in so so Betaflight obviously did that for a reason and I have a feeling that pushing them all the way up to 100% on a 5 inch freestyle rig might not be the best idea uh, so what I'm interested in is how high I can push like I have a feeling there's going to be like a, like an 80% it's perfect um, so yeah I'm going to just slowly push them up and see what happens. Paul McDonald says Hekazari was better in Herman's head. I don't know if I've seen Herman's head. I don't think I have. Uh, oh, I gotta switch this. About on here. Oh. Oh. Very tired. Got up early tomorrow this morning so that I would be tired tonight and I could actually go to sleep. It's 11.15. Three hours and 12 minutes. That's too many hours. That's too many hours. Uh, Kaiser Soze says, why is PID sum reduced by default? No idea. Uh, I'm sure there is a reason. I don't know the reason. Um, my guess is that it's a lot safer that way. To give the PID loop access to all the power of the motors is kind of sketchy. Like, it has access to a hell of a lot of power as it is uh, to double the amount of power that it has access to. You know, instead of just cutting, like, a half an inch into your leg, it's going to cut all the way to the goddamn bone, which is a little creepy. But... Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I, I really have no idea. But uh, I wish I'd known about that earlier because that would have been the, uh, the fix for um, uh, one of the local guys here, Adam Squints FPV's uh, Betaflight rig that he bought. Uh, he uses these Zing Eco motors that don't make a lot of power, um, and his rig is very heavy. Uh, and at zero throttle, it was, it was wobbling. It didn't have enough power to... Uh, to keep itself stable not even just at zero throttle just at like low throttle uh, which we started to kind of get around with um, that other thing that I haven't turned on in a while and now I can't remember the name uh, thrust linear but we couldn't quite get it there. Hey, this rig is missing one little foam foot. I have one extra little foam foot. Happy days are here at last. In more ways than just foam feet. A little garbage can getting emptied. All right, boys and girls. Uh, I am going to shut this mother down in a minute here. Get those last minute questions in. If you have them, I am hungry as hell again. I ate right before the stream and now I got to go eat again. Uh, this rig is good to go. This rig is good to go. The fleet is back, people. Is the whole fleet back? Sort of. The, the cinema rig camera is doing weird things. I probably need to just replace the camera pigtail. That's fine. I'm not doing that tonight. Um, 
I quit out of beta flight already? Yeah, we're good. Cool. Yeah. The workhorses are back. I gotta remove, uh... Stream's current bitrate is lower. Great. Way to go, YouTube. Uh... Thanks for hanging out, friends. Always good to spend some time with you lunatics. Uh, did the stream die? There hasn't been a comment in a while. I think the stream died. That's okay. Perfect time to end. Here comes some flying from the double build. No, Club Metro. Here's some flying from Club Metro where you guys might get to fly if you get tickets to Flow State from Joshua Bardwell or James Christensen and you want to come and hang out with me before the, uh, the thing. This is a spot that we call Club Metro. Here comes some copyright free music. Hopefully it's good. I can already tell that it's not. Luckily I don't have to listen to it. Bye bye